Hello, everybody. I am the host tonight. I am subbing in for Lana. My name is Cutie Rue. I also go by Rue. And uh, tonight we're doing She is Speed. I am super, super excited to do this show tonight because I haven't seen it, but this will be really, really fun to watch. Um, it's definitely going to be worthwhile to watch the new Pokemon Snap. It's the Any Percent by Spicy Buns. And we're going to be having Miss Candiaria uh, as commentary. Um, if everybody would love to say hello on the call, say hi and introduce yourselves. Hello, I'm Spicy. Um, I normally play uh, a variety of games on stream and I got into speed running with this game and it's just been very fun since uh, and I'm excited to be here. Hello, I'm Miss Kim Deer. Um also known as Candy because the, the rest of my name is a pun, but <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you all. I used to play the original Snap. And now the new Pokemon Sam came out and I was really happy after, what, 20 years? So I'm really happy to be here doing commentary today. Well, I'm really, really super excited. I um, definitely um, just, I'm super, like, I keep on saying I'm super excited. I just, it's really going to be so much fun to just watch the new Pokemon Snap. Uh, Pokemon Snap is near dear to my heart. I remember playing it as a kid. And so this is going to be great to watch the new one. Um, whenever you are ready to do a countdown, Spicy, uh, just count and we are ready to go. All right. I just get my notes over here. So I'm sure that I, I do things properly. And we're going to start over here, just creating our file. So normally we would play uh, in Japanese just for the sake of a speed run, but today, so everyone can see what if, what's happening. If you're not familiar with the game, we're gonna be playing on English. It doesn't really change that much, um, but we are going to take out the voices because um, it does take a little bit longer. And we also don't wanna keep hearing some people if we wanna be hearing about the speed run. Uh, and now we're gonna be choosing the girl that I normally choose is this one over here. She has gorgeous eyes. Um, and she's gonna be our girl boss for the evening. She's doing everything. Um, she's getting all the pictures and going up to all the Pokemon, so let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna count. After this, we're gonna start. So three, two, one, go. Hello everybody, we're coming to the world of new Pokemon Snap. If you've never ever, ever played the original, it's a really good catch. But today we're gonna show the new spin-off. I mean it's a kind of a spin-off because you're not here to catch Pokemon, so you're not here to battle Pokemon. We are here to take pictures. It's yes, we are taking pictures. Actually, uh, also known as research. So you're in the laboratory that's in the middle of an island and nobody knows where it is. But important is, is that we're doing studies. So we're gonna meet the professor, his laboratory, and then a lot of people are gonna come along the way. But for now, it's gonna stay a normal Pokemon. They're gonna explain the whole story. That like this island has like mega Pokemons. It's like kind of Pokemons that generate some kind of energy. That like um, you need some kind of research because it does some change in the A, B, and the area. It's something really interesting, but like, you never imagine who's gonna be the Mega Pokemons. Um, so for now, um, we're gonna do the tutorial that they're gonna give us a camera that's actually a cell phone, because who has cameras these days? <laughs> Most of these are taken over on cell phone. So, at the beginning, uh, there's not much. It's just like, oh, you, you kind of just kind of like intern. And then they're like, oh, I need you to go to this place and take pictures of Pokemon. So now he's going to teach us how to take pictures, like kind of things kind of like zoom. Uh, what is the best position, the best size, the best everything for the whole picture uh, to get value. Because um, as we take a picture, we get research points. For those who haven't played the old snap, uh, as more points we get, more we progress in the game. So the more research we do, more things and we unlock. So this is the same. Um, this is the same idea. But what happens here 
is that we are actually researching something, not only just normal Pokemon, we're, we're researching a phenomenon that has been happening quite for a while. And then they're gonna show new items of the way, that's why I'm not gonna explain right now, but for now it's just a tutorial, so let's stay tuned. And in this game, they introduced the auto select. There's like the, the professor select the pictures for you, but the things is like. It's kind of difficult to handle this, although he, he was supposed to select the best pictures, sometimes he chose whatever, and then the, and they kind of end up lower your points, so that's why you need, always need to be aware of which picture we're choosing. Yeah, that's so true. Everybody's interested. Do you want to explain the pearls, the stars? The, like, every people's like, oh my god, stars, things are happening, things are floating. Yeah, Pokedex, well, what is this? You know, uh, all of the pictures, all of the Pokemon have four different star poses. Uh, they can be different, but uh, we're going to be trying to get different ones um, to be able to not lose a lot of time by taking the pictures of the same Pokemon that we've already taken. Um, and that means that we're going to have to interact with the Pokemon in a different way, uh, each time. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a little bit complicated. There's a lot of things in play. Um, I can explain a little bit more once I am doing it. Right now we're going to park day. So we're going to do day and night. Um, we need a certain amount of, uh, points for this. Uh, for this one is 40k, so we're gonna be doing that. First, right after this, is we're going to change our settings. Um, so the the camera, we're going to go with a little bit of speed, pointer speed, and then the buttons we're going to change to set three. At least that's what I use. And now we're going to start. So we need to take one picture because of what Candy was saying. Um, that because we're using the auto select, um, we don't want the auto select to select the picture that we didn't want to be selected. So, you know, we are just going to do that for safety. And we need to take the least amount of pictures that will give us enough points to go over level so we can actually progress with the story which is what is the whole speed run about is taking the best pictures that will give us enough points in this case we need 40k and we're gonna take a picture of bidoof look at him go bidoof um the beginning is quite a slow pace, although people claim that it's an auto scroller. We actually can move the card a little bit to the left or to the right, and then the important part is your camera is always uh, pointing the, to the front. Because if you point to the back, the speed is gonna slow down. The card has its own mechanics, like, I'm um, not gonna get any advanced details about it. But, like, basically, uh, we need pictures in certain positions, so we avoid to move too much. So not like uh, it's struggled later to get other pictures. So it's just like, and it's funny when you have a save file, some some little things uh, happen that doesn't happen when you reset the stage. Because uh, what works here is the you not only unlock other areas, you also unlock level. It's like a level of the stage. So we are in level one right now, which is that means it's the our first time in this stage. Um, and then as we increase the research level, we unlock the other level, of course. And then new Pokemon appear, new things happen, but we don't actually need to go to the other levels since it's 100%. So let's see. <laughs> I'm excited. Um. <laughs> it's yeah, like all, right. all the Pokemon are like, I'm posing for you. Come on, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> posing this angle. Yep, exactly. They know what they're doing. <laughs> Being so cute. All right, we're getting to the end of the first one. We're still going to take a couple pictures more. Um, and we're going to be seeing Magikarp, as you saw there again. Uh, we're going to be seeing Magikarp a lot. So stay Magikarp. tuned. 
Magikarp is so funny that in the past snap we had this Magikarp percent because there's a Magikarp in every stage. Yes, there is a Magikarp in Volcano. If you never search for it, there he is there. <laughs> All right, the last one that we're gonna take is this over here. She is gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Also. A fun fact about Florius is, is that she changed colors. She has like multiple colors, so it can be red, orange, or blue. Uh, and I forgot all the colors, <laughs> but uh, it's just one more. Every time you restart a file, she always changes colors. And there's also um, Pokemon change shapes according to the gender, so it's um, it's random. So every time you enter a stage, they're gonna be different Pokemon around, although they all like the same. Like for example, there's um, what is it, Luxray? The difference in between the Luxray and in between Luxrays is that it has an extra layer of hair. So it's funny, <laughs> high score that is important because it makes if if it has a less hair, layer of hair, if it's perfect in the picture. So you always want to go for the Luxray that has less hair to fit in the picture. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's yeah, it's true. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Oh, that's a great Sona. So we normally are trying to get all the Pokemon in the middle, see size, post, direction. All of those are points being taken away or putting in there. Uh, we also want background points with a certain flower that we're going to learn about uh, with other Pokemon. Um, the placement has to be central. Um, oh, what? Taylor doesn't look happy. Um, but we are. And lastly, Florges. So I said that we needed how many points? It was 40k. Uh, 40k, yes. So let's see if we got there. There you go. Got 42k. Ooh. And this is the only Lovely. way of leveling up. <laughs> Yes. Although so. in stages there are the same Pokemon, uh, you still get research points because every stage when you take a picture of something, it's something new, basically. Alright, so there's one thing that is because we are learning um, different um, things to interact with the Pokemon, we always have to go in and try them out to be able to go on with the story so even though we did uh get enough points on park we need to um do a tutorial for scanning uh well we're not gonna do it but we need to go to park night and then go back again so it's just we're gonna have to go back into many uh many of these stages on purpose even though we maybe got enough points just to to get uh all these things that help us go over with the story. Hmm. Um, I did have a couple questions from chat if I have a moment. Yeah, for sure. Um, so these questions are for both of you, Spicy and Candy. What are your favorite Pokemons? And then I do have another after that one. Uh, My favorite Pokemon is Go Go. I know it's kind of lame, but I love it. <laughs> it's just because it's a go. There's nothing more about it. <laughs> um, my favorite Pokemon, if you don't know me, if you haven't seen me around, um, I... You know... It's Pikachu. I, I, I'm i sorry. <laughs> it's Pikachu. Uh, all my emotes are Pikachu. Uh, I normally in my strips have in the background, there's always at least one Pikachu. Um, so yes, I am the girl that is obsessed with Pikachu. And it's just because he's just so cute. <laughs> so yeah, that, that would be my answer. Uh, if you want other ones, I can tell you multiple ones that I love. Uh, but it would be Pikachu. Oh, Pikachu's a... I, I like Pikachu. I have a... I can't pick one. I, oh wait, no, that's a lie. I like Mew. I know, for me, Mew is the, the cute, adorable, like, like little kiddish innocent jokester, and it's, it's super adorable. 
Mew is very yeah. cute. Mew is also in this game, but after we have finished, I think. Yeah. Yeah, but but that's not in the realm. But uh, yeah. in the order to snap, he's, uh, let's say it's the last boss. It is the last boss. But Mew, nobody likes Mew in speedrun. Because <laughs> he kills all the runs. But I love Mew itself. All right, we're on park night. Um, and we're going to take pictures of the same Pokemon, but different things. We're going to interact with them. Also, every time I appear Bidoof, I would say Bidoof, because there's Bidoof everywhere. <laughs> it's, oh, this game is Bidoof based. <laughs> yeah. Bidoof butt. There's a picture that you can take that is a Bidoof butt. And it's a giant Bidoof butt. It's actually great. Do you want to look into it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of post-game stuff because uh, it's not going to be in the room. Uh, you get the ability to shrink, so everything is very big. Uh. Oh, talking about them. Um, so, it's just a quick, quick question. Uh, oh, go ahead. Sorry. Oh no, we're just gonna learn things as going around because we're basically just like in the first island, so it's just technically still the tutorial. Things go a smidge slow, but I think SOI is gonna be good. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the question that was asked earlier, do we like the shinies of that? Like, if it's your favorite Pokemon, would you? Is that your favorite shiny, or would you have different shinies that you? that are more of your favorite, for both of you. Um, I like Charizard as a sh as its shine form, but I also like Gogo's shine form. It turns golden and it has a lot of details because of the, the bush that it has on its neck. So I'd say I like both, but like my favorite would be Charizard. Would it be too bad to say that I don't really know which are shiny or like what color? Pokemon, shiny Pokemon are. Oh, I, I know Scyther. Um, Scyther. Yeah. Yeah, so Scyther I normally I is cute because it's pink. Aww. Yeah, cause I'm I'm with you. I'm not an expert on the shinies. I just know when they're shiny, they're shiny. If that made sense. Like I'm not. I don't know the different colors or like the different. The only thing I know is just. If I see it and it doesn't look like the Pokemon that I know from before, yeah, you uh, throw sparkles and they like capture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm I'm in the same boat. I'm not the best at shining hunting, but um, I do know at least the 151 Pokemon. <laughs> I remember those really well. <laughs> yeah. The only shiny hunt that I ever did was for Pokemon X and Y. And then uh, I never did it ever again. It's too much. <laughs> it's fun, but uh, like it's a lot of time you need. This was one of my first Pokemon games that I played because I was not a gamer when I was little. So I, I still have a lot to learn about Pokemon. A lot. Um. As I said earlier, um, although it's an older scroller, you can actually control the card. The only thing that it does is it moves forward for you. But exactly. I also can slow it down and speed it up. Mm -hmm. So depending on the movement, you can kind of delay your run. So it actually has a lot of technique involved in the card. Like if basically if you stay all the stage looking behind, you're gonna be at least one or two minutes late. So yeah. There's some things, like zooming also slows down because uh, the game itself, when you zoom, you don't stand, so you're trying to focus on the picture. So you always need to stay on zoom and looking forward. And pray to God that the pictures go slow. <laughs> but besides that, everything's fine. Well, I, I just realized that I forgot a picture. But we don't have to worry. We can fix it. We'll just have to um... uh, deal with it. <laughs> I forgot the sauna. 
All right. Uh, oh, I see. The one under the bridge. That's yeah. Cool. Right after Pidget. But that's okay. So you need. So I need a different star for another Pokemon. Yep. So it's fifty thousand, and I need okay seven thousand. All right. I think even though we didn't get over level, uh, we are able to go to Meganium. Which yeah, is... because in this yeah yeah, because yeah in we this can stage go. We need score bunny delay. So the score bunny, yeah. So we can still go. So right here, we are just waiting to go to a new place that he has found, and. Um, yeah, we're going to see how it looks. It's very cute. It's very like fairy feeling. Um, all the all the Illumina Pokemon are very nicely designed, I believe. If all the other ones are pretty, Illumina Pokemon's are prettier. This is kind of scary, I kind of agree. When I was young, I would look at it as like, just have some sharp things, and I was like, yep, no, I captured that Pokemon. I was the type of person that went had cute Pokemon on my team, but only did this species. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. It's funny because the... Uh, Pokemon only has certain languages, right? So when I got Pokemon, I got in English. And at the time, I didn't know English, so I would just press buttons literally. <laughs> I would calculate every single character in the game into a quick progress. Same thing in Pokemon Snap when it came out. Um, I didn't know I had to take pictures of the signs in the, the very first original game. That, like, there's a certain point of unique pictures of signs, let's say, like that. It's just like um, appearance in the middle of the wild. And then you need to take a picture of all that to progress. I never progress and never reach me, but in compensation, I was free to run the game and finish it. But that's fine. <laughs> uh, so like what was this, we were saying before. Oh, you wanna explain about Meganium? Uh sure. The thing here with Illumina Pokemon is that they have to be shining like this. And you see that they it went to this called a crystal bloom. It's a flower that grows everywhere in this island. Um, and they have to be shining for the picture to count. So you can take a picture right now or before it was shining and it would have not counted. So that's what it makes it like a tiny boss. So I know a lot of people count it as, oh, this is just an auto scroller. But yes, it has bosses. I believe the Illumina Pokemon are bosses that you have to be able to take the right picture and you have to get them to shine which sometimes is a little bit tricky um so yeah we just took the first one it was very easy because it just sniffed the, the flower and became illuminated but the other ones are not that easy unfortunately yeah making is kind of the tutorial we're basically still learning the game everything basically has to be the tutorial because then the professor is going to explain what the crystal ball is about, what are he going to do with it, and what he should be doing. And then at the end of the game, we're going to discover what, how those flowers has that kind of power. So let's see, we need to progress in the game. So we're going to give the information as it goes. Yeah. All right. This game is a lot of uh, mashing buttons, so. <laughs> I was wondering about that. H how often are you mashing the button? Like, Oh, most of the run I will be mashing the button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is there um, any like um, tips on like how to do some like exercises for the hands when you're mastering the buttons? Because I know this is a pretty uh, like a reasonable speed run in terms of the time. So I know it's like over two hours. So I'm yeah. just curious if there's any tips or tricks. I would say don't do it with your with your thumb. Do it with your whole hand, because you can, or your whole arm, because you get tired of your wrist and then you can hurt yourself. So I, I would say do your whole hand. I normally do it like this, and I just 
Keep <laughs> testing. <laughs> like my life depended on it. Uh, honestly, it's it's actually really important to you know know that because it, it could it, it makes a major difference. Um, I speed run this game called Unpacking, and there's a lot of clicking involved. And if I don't do those hand stretches, it really like, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, you definitely got to take care of those hands. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, with the Illumina Pokemon, we're finding in the Crystal Bloom, we're finding out that we can get, um, we can get this balls i think it will be in the next illumina that they will create a ball out of a crystal blue um but uh no it would be this one and then we have to go back into park night anyway uh to take pictures so uh before if you did get enough pictures and enough points you still have to go back as i said to let the game think that you are going through with the story um and using the new the new tools that it gave you um sometimes that helps us if we didn't get enough points because even though you you still have to go in so might as well take some pictures right in this case we do need some pictures some more pictures um i'm just gonna skip this tutorial the only tutorial that we have to do is the first one the other ones we are able to skip so this one we're gonna they, they talk a lot um to be honest i think they talk way more than we will be talking in the whole entire run um and they talk and get to nothing you will see at the end of the run <laughs> the the conclusions they get to <laughs> after a bunch of talking oh All yeah right now is the now is the important stuff uh we got flu fruit don't worry about it, it doesn't hurt Pokemons, but it's a kind of a treat that I usually hit Pokemons with. But I assure you that even the character says that they are safe and they are friendly. It's just apple-shaped Pokemon. If, uh, it, 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 they changed the name to Flu Fruit because people uh, took it as a decorative because they threw apples at Pokemon. So, yeah, it's fluffy. Just saying. <laughs> just a quiet reminder. Because the fruit's gonna go all the way around, so... Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Alright, the Bidoof picture didn't count, but this one did. So we're going to have to take another picture again. So we're gonna have to go in again. And this can happen a lot. Um, if, um, if you don't take the right picture, or if it didn't recognize the Pokémon, that can also happen. So, we'll have to do that. Uh, Bidoof, please. Alright. That should be it. That should be good. And as Candy had said before, even though we've taken the same, probably the same picture, yeah. Oh, great. It's not the same. <laughs> Normally, if we take the same the same picture, uh, we do get more points. Uh, let's see what we can get. We still need 4,000. So, what I will do... This does take a little bit of time from the run. But honestly... I feel like that should be good I don't think it will be enough so what I'll do is oh it's like a backup yeah we're bunking Pokemons uh something fun about the game every time you bonk a Pokemon it's gonna be a two stars you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so, 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 cool. so you just you bonk um, them and you get two stars automatically well, yeah, the stars are not um, are not more like or better. It just means that uh, it's a different pose, which is a little bit confusing. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So two stars can be any pose, but if you like want to complete the Pokédex or search stuff like that, um, you 
is a good and safe path for you and pull on Pokemon. <sighs> but since you're only gonna complete the story, you're not gonna do all the poses, but that, that's really cool poses. Like, um, Forrester has the most, um, well, no, not well done, but like most technique pictures that like you need to hit a Pokemon, for that Pokemon to hit an old Pokemon, for you need to do a pose for water, fountains, waterfalls. It's like a very specific pose that you need to fall step by step. And then I get a picture of it. And now in between one and three stars, it's just kind of easy things. Now four stars, I was hard. I remember when nobody had a wiki, and then we were trying to find the four stars. And it's very, very tricky. Like, you literally need to follow step by steps like you're doing a recipe for a cake. So... Yeah, but it's quite fun. It's just like, it's too many things going around. Yeah. Well, we had to go in again because it didn't take enough points. So now we're just making sure that we're making it. At that point. Finally. Yeah, this one, I think this one is the one that needs the most points out of all of the stages. So it is, it can get a little bit complicated. Oh yeah, um, we need a research level two for all the, the stages and the sub stages. So we can progress to the next stage. So it's, it's like a requirement. It's just like, oh, mm -hmm. I research everything for this level, so Pokemon, oh, so professor's gonna be like, oh, so let's research on another area. And then, oh, let's get items for this area, well, let's do this, let's do that. And then basically now, we're gonna get, we can choose which ro route we wanna take. Uh, it's gonna show now, we're gonna get two new stages. But, as I remember, we're gonna take a specific one. Oh yeah. Let's do Django. It's not right now, but we're gonna log more stages. For now it's Django. We basically just finished the tutorial. This whole the whole first area is just a huge tutorial and you like it's funny because um when you first play the game and you don't know things, you're like, I just wanna progress, please, I finish everything. Most people don't know that you need to take a picture of the Illumina Pokemon. You will need to have at least a picture, and then like Spicy said, you can take a picture of the Illumina Pokemon that you're shiny. But some people don't pay attention, sometimes it's just, just not explicit enough. And then it goes by and then you get stuck in the first island. Or when you don't know any level to every single stage to be able to progress. Uh, sometimes it's funny because uh, the first time I played I got stuck and then I, I couldn't do anything about it. I thought I was soft blocking the game. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it doesn't mm. explain much. But it does give a lot of things to do. That's true. Um, so now, as some people have seen, that one was Todd. It was the one taking pictures on the original Pokemon Snap game. Uh, so it's a little bit of nostalgia for some people. Aww. Um, Yet. But we also meet um, Phil. And uh, all my homies hate Phil. Um, oh. <laughs> you know, he's oh, really? just this kid uh, that thinks he's better than you and keeps talking and keeps talking. And, uh, you know, yes. <laughs> and so he, has, he appears to just say smack dab in the middle. And then that's it. And it never appears again. All right, we're going to jungle 35,000 points. Uh, and we're going to pop all the butterflies. Ooh, let's go, guys. I practiced this one, so it should be good. I was going to ask, which one is, like, which level is the hardest level for the speedrun? Um, um, I, would I would say, uh, for me, probably Sans Day. But there's other ones that are complicated. I would say Snowfields because it requires a huge amount of points and then they are very specific features. Like you can even do a major different and then you get a kind of... I mean, the day is fine, the night that is not fun. It's no fun. There's a lot of movement, there's a lot of things hidden, there's a lot of things in between, there's like rocks and stages. It's complicated. You guys are gonna see it. All right, so Slacky didn't want to turn around for us. Um, he's a little bit shy. Um, and now we're going to get uh, the ink bomb. Bonk. There's some times that we take pictures of the same Pokemon on the same 
uh, run of the stage, just in case uh, the game decides to choose not the right one. All right, we lure it in. That was a good bonk. There's a bonk. Um, I and guess that since it's a new file, most Pokemon are kind of just in an automatic <laughs> path. So you basically use that um, in our benefit. But they do can go wrong. Like Apon sometimes if you scary, he scary, he scary, he just goes away. And you're like, oh my god, my picture going away with it. Mm. Oh, that's fine. There's all the Pokemon. It's just we need to adjust as we go by. Sorry, Mr. Picky Pick. Ah, I was called Pips Pick. I don't <laughs> even know why. <laughs> Uh, is, is it the same I, I, in, in Portuguese? It is, but like when you pronounce really fast, it, it goes wrong. <laughs> like, pick it back, pick it back. It, it, it always go, I don't know why. It always go the nasty in between it. My language has a lot of uh, like, S's sounds. Right. I, I do like hearing that though. It's, um, I always like hearing, um, uh, like linguistics. It's always fascinating to me about hearing, like, different, um, ways to say things. Cause I, I know, like, mm -hmm. sometimes it's just, you know, it's just the way that you enunciate it. And so it's, I, I, I like it personally. I always like learning. Mm -hmm. I didn't know All that. Right. That's interesting uh, to find out. Touch curb, please. Magikarp? It's like, sometimes I have some difficulties, like uh, there's Hoppip, uh, Hoppip, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but uh, when I used to be a child, I, was, I used to say Hoppipi, Hop because every time there's a P, it's not sideline for us. Yeah, it, it finishes the knee and everything, so we'll be Hoppipi. <laughs> I it's like Hoppipi more. Yeah. I like Hoppipi way more, though. <laughs> That's way funner. I agree with that one. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's very funny, right? It's very yeah. like... Animated like wow, a Pokemon. <laughs> All right, we're getting to the end of jungle. Um, we did some bonking here and there, uh, and hopefully we won't have to go in again. <laughs> Most stages we have day and night, so you guys gonna see the same stage with different Pokemon because some Pokemon only appear. Oh, yeah, some Pokemon only appear during the day, some only appear during the night. Oh, there is Pokemon sleeping during the night and during the day they're waking. Oh, vice versa, you know, there's some Pokemon that sleep during the day. Like Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot sleep during the day. If you don't know that, that's why we take a picture of his bum. Because he's asleep. So <laughs> we can actually like <laughs> during the day. Only a night. I actually like hearing that, though. <laughs> I never knew that when I was playing this game. I was just like, oh, maybe if I caught it at the right moment. And uh, yeah, I, I was trying too hard on the poses, I think. <laughs> yeah, some poses are really hard to get. Just very frame specific. Which we're trying as much as possible here, but some of them, like people that do a lot of uh, high score, um, they do... Um, I don't remember quite what the name is, but they just stop the game and they kind of like uh, pause buffer. That's the word. Um, and I just don't have the patience for pause buffering for a picture for hours, but oh. go them. <laughs> yeah, they do it. Yeah, I, I, I'm like that with certain other games that I've sped run. I'm like, if you could do it, go ahead. I. I appreciate your love and dedication because <laughs> I I want to do it, but I just can't. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just, I don't know. There's certain things where it's like, I'd rather just have fun and just have it go at my own pace, I guess is the best way to put it. Yeah, yeah, I, I get you on that. For me, that's a high score. I tried to do high score and then uh, I left it halfway. 
I didn't even get all of the pictures. And it was like getting all to the diamond uh, stars. And uh, I never got it. Maybe one day I'll get it. Yeah. But I know I mean, a bunch of people that did. Yeah. And, and, and honestly, like, I would say just... That's, you know, whatever is at your own pace kind of thing. Because sometimes, exactly. you know, maybe not today, but maybe a month from now after whatever or like more. Maybe you're like, okay, hey, let's try it. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. whatever is at your own pace. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm the same way where I'm like, oh, I want to learn this one. And I want to learn this one and this one and this one. Oh, this one's great. <laughs> like, I, I'm just, I like learning. So I learned the speed runs. Um, and this was a long speed run. It's a lot of things to remember. That's what I was going to ask. It, how is the like routing and how to remember it? Because I know that Pokemon have to be in a certain spot in a certain time range and there's certain sequence of events, right? Yeah. Cause but we have everything said. We have like, like a book. Of all the Pokemon we need to take pictures. Oh, okay. We literally okay. have a book that you like. You can see the pictures and go over it and like over and over again. And then there's the explanation on there, like hit leap part of an apple and take a picture. Get a picture that's, of Metapod on the tree to the left. That's what I have open here. It's it's an explanation of what what picture I need to take next and what I have to do to get the picture. So I guess the routing. Um, I was there from the start. Uh, I was close to a lot of people that were doing that from day one and it's just basically taking pictures and seeing what pictures are easier what pictures give you more points um so you can decide what the least amount of pictures is that you can get to get enough um enough points that's basically it so it took a lot of picture taking which i don't mind doing because i am a photographer so oh that's cool <laughs> yeah yeah i'm an actual photographer in real life and that's i am cool. a pokemon photographer so i'm i'm proud of that <laughs> you're the you're <laughs> yeah you are officially a photographer that's really cool can you give me some tips please because i'm not that great i'm okay i know how to I know how it's to, not that um, complicated though. It's just learning little things, like little <laughs> tips here and there that do make the difference. Uh, I I'm like I'm the one. Okay, so I'm the horrible photographer. Where if you're at an event and I'm walking, I'll take the picture while I'm walking, and so normally it's like blurred most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like drive by photography, yes, yeah, and then the picture's blurred. <laughs> yeah. It's blurred. yeah. But, uh, but we even have. Oh, go ahead. Okay. It's even funny because in my language, you have something like similar to that. We say, oh, the pictures are, the part was great. The pictures are awesome. And just a lot of real pictures. Like nobody <laughs> can recognize what happened there. It's just the pictures going everywhere. Yeah. It's a thing. It's a thing you have in my language. It's funny when you say that because every single picture is blurry. <laughs> But I honestly would love to check out your work sometime. Uh, that's amazing, though, like that you are uh, in real life, not just Pokemon, but Pokemon, too, but uh, in Pokemon real life too. photographer as well. Yeah, of course. It's a, it's a cool thing to do. I went to school for it and... Oh, hello. Just give me a second. The Yamminga is going to be eating. And it's so cute. Look at it. It's yum, just yum. eats. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna do. Okay, so fun fact: in the original Snap, although the the controllers were inverted to take pictures, uh, you could actually go to configurations and change that. But nobody did that, so everybody played the game inverted. But in this new game, it does not come inverted. But you can also put in inverted as well. Uh, the inverting controllers, like how you go down, go up, up, go down. I remember as a child, there was a struggle. It's so simple, but sometimes it's so confusing. But yeah, so when I play New Snap, I found it weird because I was used to the inverted controllers. I was like, wait, wait, what? Things are not going where it's supposed to go. But you can change everything, basically, like uh, camera speed, car speed, because we can move the little cars in between the bars. Um... 
Yeah. Invert it any way you want. You want the picture, take the picture, it's your go. Yeah, it, there is a lot of um a lot of versatility to like for you to take the picture, I guess for for the way that this game is set and auto scroller, it does give you a lot of uh a lot of freedom, if you will. Um Yeah. It gives you way more freedom than the first game. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if you think about the, the the last game was quite old, so it didn't really yeah. have that many <laughs> that many options. The console was, had some issues like putting all the Pokemons together. But it was a nice game. I do recommend. Also, talk about the Morlo Morlo. <laughs> uh, so basically, I, also I killed the, the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I thought the same thing when I started. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> and it actually was uh, sleep powder, so the other ones go to sleep. I was like, oh my god, I screwed everything. I was like, well, no, he's fine. He's just sleeping because of the sleep powder. Um, so yeah, just explaining. He's fine. You see the little sparkles? Sleep powder. Be careful, don't throw apples at Pokemon without telling them. <laughs> you might get scared. <laughs> Maybe a tiny bit. Alright, so we didn't get 45,000, but... Don't fret, um, because it's on purpose. Um, we obviously always try to get as many points as possible, but in this time again, we do need to go back because we just got orbs. So as I told you, we took a picture of that flower, that shiny flower there, and it's very important that every time that there's normally happens at night, every time there is a flower like that, we need to take a picture of it so they can create the orbs for it. Uh, for each island. Um, if not, we have to redo the whole thing again because that also gives us a uh, foot to go ahead in the story. So always make sure to take pictures of the <laughs> crystal bloom. Um, don't be like me and forget about it sometimes. Um, but now we're gonna go back and we have to use them. But we're gonna use this time to take some more pictures to get the rest of the points that we need, which is okay. So we're gonna get the Yaminga flying, and then we're oh, gonna wow. get the Liopard. Oh, and now they finally uh, explain about the Lumino Orbs. Please. There's Orbs to make everything pretty, basically. Alright, let's oh. hope. I think I took all of them. But I think I just need two, so hopefully. Time to check this picture. Oh, cool. I think I got it. This one is normally uh, like heavy for me. Oh, Ooh. there you go. I need 167. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but normally I need more, yeah. so, you know, should be fine. Um, now Bonky what we're gonna do, I'm gonna bonk the, the snake. Sneak. Oh yeah, also our box sleeps at night. I think I also make you fall that tree. Yep. I will make the snake fall uh, if I can. I think it's <laughs> Oh, he actually fell. For if <laughs> She's the home. The happiest about it. <laughs> Falling on trees might hurt. Yeah. It's actually a he. He's fine. Oh, I couldn't scan Bone Sweet because I had already scanned Bone Sweet at, on the first time that I tried. Oh, okay. I don't know if that one counted. No. I have to do the you same again. You can as well. Mm, that should be a little bit more difficult. Uh, what I can yeah, do is, very is I think I have to bonk what it and take pictures as I'm bonking it. Yeah. Because I didn't take the picture after. It's fine. Or I think at night you just take a picture of 
Metapod or it will bounce it? It can also bounce the Metapod. Uh, could I? Oh, there you that go. That was supposed to be... Yeah. That should be good. Normally when you see a little green or yellow uh, color to, to it, it's... It's a new picture, I believe. Hopefully this one counted. It did not. Let's see. Oh, you can book Metapod on the tree. Yeah. Uh, it's a two stars. I think you took the one star because of the monk it. Yeah, I'll have to bonk it. I actually just... Oh, you took a picture of life art, right? Yeah. Yeah, and no, I'll just bonk the... the Metapod. I never understood Metapod. It's just, it's just a cocoon. But we already have yeah. a cocoon type. Pokemon. This Kakuna? Yeah. Well, two actually. I'm not quite sure of this. I was like, yeah, Metapod, please. As it didn't shoot, so it's like, it didn't count as one, yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to keep going and take a new Pokemon. So we normally try to not do that because it takes a lot of time. But at this point, we've lost enough time, so we can't lose anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a new Pokemon. And you might not know it's there, but I know it is. Over here. I think I need to make it fall. Or maybe that counts. Uh, I think that counts, yeah. It's an Ariados. It's an apple mall. We do throw a lot of apples, but they are fluff fruits. Fluff fruits are safe to throw at any Pokemon you want. Don't worry about it. I tried to not take this picture because I am arachnophobic. I dislike spiders. Very much. There you go. I mean, Ariad is quite a big spider. It's ginormous. I don't want to get close to it. It's fair. <laughs> All right. Only up from here. I don't know why Phil is tired. I know what our character is tired because she's been doing all the work. Bill, on the other hand, it's just all show. Ooh. We finally unlocked the two stages. Now we have. No, I actually need to see, so I can't say it beforehand. <laughs> so, since it's the any percent speedrun, you have a set route, but you basically can't choose in between the sandlands and then the, let's say, waterlands. It's like more like a beach area and something like that. And the descent is more like. Um, yeah, it's basically around the volcano and stuff like that, but if we keep unlocking as more replay. And this is Phil being oh. naughty and getting us in trouble. It's funny because Phil never took a picture, he doesn't even have a camera. But what's important <laughs> is he's our, he's our rival. And whatever he does, he's doing something. All right. So I normally choose stance first, but you are able to choose, um, is it beach? Beach. Yes. You can also choose beach. But I just want to get sands done with. As I told you, sands day is a very fast paced one. I think that's, I, I believe is the most difficult one, even though there's some other difficult ones. Um, most of the pictures are right at the end like the last 30 seconds of the of the stage. So it's complicated, to say the least. <laughs> I 
and welcome to sand stick we have sand on your left and sand on your right and maybe some flying pokemon on the ceiling actually no ceiling sky sorry <laughs> i was uh i was about to say i think uh <laughs> i want to see pokemon on my ceiling <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, but at the oh, yeah, go ahead. Send this is funny because there's some hidden stuff. Like even the the it's like I was about to say the little sand, or like there's a uh, scorpion he hidden in it. But like there's even thing hidden in the tornado. Also, that tornado is dangerous. Also, can damage you or the Pokemon. So I don't recommend getting it by it. <laughs> Uh, this picture is complicated, so we're gonna take a picture of this. Of the bird. Trying to get it as close to the center as possible. But a lot of these are just complicated to put in the middle. And they have to be looking at you, so, you know, don't beat yourself up for it. I don't. Sometimes these Pokemon do not want to cooperate. Right, and I always take a safety picture. Obviously, it will put a little bit more time, but it's always good to have safety pictures instead of uh, what has happened to me. Just to make sure that you have enough points and not get stopped by Hippodon, but he pout on, but uh. Sometimes it happens. Uh, mister, uh, we need to go. Oh, yeah. Thank he you. He pound on does whatever he wants. Does whatever he wants, absolutely. All right, and as I told you, we're going to be seeing a lot of Mr. here. Did you go Magic Cacnea? Herb. Or are you doing yeah. it on the route? Yeah, I, 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 I scanned the Cacnea. So, as I was telling you, the last pictures which is most like four i think it's uh, right at the end so we have to prepare everything and uh hopefully you'll get it also more margie carbs they are splashing everywhere and it's funny because in the new pokemon game they splash out of the water uh out of nowhere for no reason you know, trying to migrate, like going anywhere, they just jumping out of the water, which is funny to me. So... Yeah, it's another thing about language, right? He pound on. He pound on. And which confuses a lot, because depending which language you speak, you're like, uh, that's complicated. Let me pass of it. All right. So we took all the pictures. As you saw, I just took, uh, what is it, um, the little one. I forget the name. Trap Inch. Cacnea. No, I took oh, the Trap, trap Inch. inch <laughs> and I also took, uh, the Pincer, and I took the Cacnea and the Pavilion. All together in the nice. last 30 seconds. Yeah, this last part is very tricky. Don't feel sad for the Pokemon that get bonked. Maybe they deserved it. Maybe... <laughs> maybe they wanted to be waken up today. We're just doing them a favor. Not called PETA. Trapinch did not want to look at me. But Cacnea did. Oh, I think this is one of the best Cacnea taken. Nice. So we need 30k. Also, things, things in the ambient, like the tornadoes, the Ooh. crystal balloons, like some things in specific where the skin shows, they count more points in the picture. So, usually I pound them, we try to angle it to get the tornado to get more points. Most of the time it's not possible, right? Because the Pokemon does basically whatever it wants. So, it's this strategy, but it's not possible every time. 
Alrighty. So Maybe we're going on Saturday tonight. Uh, it is. But it's not one of the bosses. It's just mm. uh, like a post game stuff. Yeah. But it is very cute. I can, I can 100% tell you, it's very cute. We're going to Saints Night. Again, 30k. But remember, we're at night and we need to get the Crystal Bloom. Never forget the Crystal Bloom. That's one of the biggest mistakes I kept making when I just started the speedrun. Um, especially on this one, because you forget that uh, it's there and it just goes super fast. So yeah, do not forget. Do not forget the crystal bloom actually <laughs> does something. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Some crystal blooms in the game, you throw orbs on it, it, it does nothing. And you're like, that was supposed to do something. I swear to God, that was supposed to do something. But you keep throwing, 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 and it doesn't do anything. And it's like the game is playing for our feelings. Maybe one day they're gonna add an old DLC and explain why some crystal blooms doesn't work. I can dream, right? <laughs> I'll dream with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're at Sense 9, now Sentry was joining us. There's a ball that just passed by. We couldn't, <laughs> you're not gonna take a picture of it, but like, if you're wondering why those balls going around, it's a Sentry just rolling around like Sonic. <laughs> uh, Sentry is very cute. I am a tiny bit obsessed with it as well. Just a tiny bit. <laughs> <laughs> and for no related reasons to my personal <laughs> life. Absolutely not. So these two have beef. And they will... Uh, there you go. They they it's not, they got it right. It's funny because the ability the, the Pokemon is using is a scary face. And that's a scary face for you. It's just a glowing red, like, scary face. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. It's, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I love that it's, like, <laughs> it's, it, 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 it's, like, just the glowing effect kind of thing. Yeah. It's like, you're gonna... I'm gonna stare you, but I'm gonna be glowing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Man boss is just chilling at the top. Oh, this king is skin. And uh, it's, uh, it's Leo baby. I can probably get that as a... I should be fine. Also, like, that's another thing about Lycan Rock. Uh, the one during the day is the form for the day. The one during the night is the one the form for the night. Although, it's obvious, but um, yeah, it changes. It's that little changes in between day and night. Okay, see the crystal bloom, and now it's not there. It's just too fast. If you didn't take it, then you're screwed. Also, I like color just like to cause chaos. Don't mind it. Please. No. Hello. Hello. Don't move. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> I think there's <laughs> more. <laughs> There's so many apples. <laughs> ah, so cute. Such cute. You know what? I will take a, a safety picture just in case. Because, you know, it's better to take those seconds. If you're really trying to get into the speed run, it's better to get those seconds than having to come back in again. Especially in, let's say, this one where all of the Pokemon are a little bit scattered around. And the ones that you might need uh, later on would be at the end, because you don't want to go through the whole entire thing again. Or with the Crystal Bloom. I cannot highlight more taking the Crystal Bloom on this one. Because <laughs> as you saw, it was right at the end, and then you would have to go all in again to take just the Crystal Bloom. Mm -hmm. Um, I did, uh, is this a good point where we could do, like, a pause for our little break? Um, uh, 
um, I think we should be good in in a bit. We do have like some that are a little bit longer, like longer wait. Okay. Or we could do it right now if you wanted to do it right now. Okay. Uh, I think right now might be a good spot, and then uh, and then we'll be good to go. Okay. Yeah, for sure. All right. Let's finish this here. Also, another thing, uh, you know how like you're going through all of the factors on the pictures. If you just press A, it fills it up fast. I didn't know that up until <laughs> not long ago, or I knew it, but I didn't really, it didn't really catch up. Onyx, which is a sleeping. All you right. Can also, from an apple make it up, it's just not recommended. Did we want to do it, or did we want yeah. to? Yeah. I Okay. We'll do a we'll do a break. Um, um, so what we'll do is we will put a pause on the timer. Um, All right. Once you hit the pause, and then we will be taking a five minute mental wellness break. Um, just not just mental, mental and body. I can say that mental <laughs> and body. Uh, just you know, <laughs> go and stretch. It's always good to stretch. Maybe go to the bathroom. Uh, maybe go get a glass of water, do some hand stretches. Always good to do that. Um, and so we will take a five minute break and we will be back with some more Pokemon news. Well, new Pokemon Snap. Oh, Snap yes. is the new Pokemon. Alrighty, everybody. We'll be back with some more. Just stay tuned. Hello everybody, this is Cutie Roo. I am also go by Roo. I am here for She is Speed with some more new Pokemon Snap. I, Before we get into the run though, I just wanted to say a few things. Um, if you would like to know about the game and volunteer submissions for Frost Fatales 2023, they are open now until November 26th. So work on those game submissions. You can find all the information at gamesonquick.com, Frame Fatales, or the GDQ Twitter to submit your games and volunteer applications. Also, even though the volunteer submissions for AGDQ are now closed, the final schedule for the event is live. Now, with all of the release games on there too, so check out the Games on Quick website and you can find it under the schedule. Also, just a last reminder, your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, and bits cheered on the GDQ Twitch channel to help support the games on quick. We'll both go to the hotfix and with a GDQ 2023 cost. So please consider subscribing if you're enjoying the daily GDQ content. Alrighty, are we both ready to go, Spicy and Candy? I would love some more Pokemon Snap. Yes, yes. Uh, we are ready to go. I am. Awesome. So we'll do a countdown. Uh, do would you like me to do the countdown or Candy? Do you want to do it? Uh, could be. Yeah, for sure. Spice, are you ready? Yep. Okay. So three, two, one, go. So we are All back right. in the new Pokemon Snap. We are arriving in Sans at night uh, again. Send Again. to your right, send to your left, and birds to the ceiling. Oh, no ceiling. <laughs> sky. <laughs> but now it's a, a sky full of stars. At least there's something on the sky. Usually there's only clouds. Or birds. Or a girl show. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, <I got> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> uh, That's a curious see. fact. Gashomps know how to <laughs> fly. <laughs> In the RCS game, they're just in the sky everywhere, and you're like, what the? Is that a bird? Is that a shark? Oh, it's a gashomp! <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, exactly. All right. So let's see, hopefully. Yes. Yes. I like to yeah. say they can glide with lifestyle that's like gliding but yeah oh i can just take kanga here oh perfect oh that's that's why i didn't take kanga before i knew i would need her there you go i'm so smart look at me look at me go mm -hmm. 
Yo, spicy. All right. So we're just finishing up with the point. Um, and then we're just good to go after Sans. We'll reach the next level. And we're going to go to water instead of sand. Oh yeah. We're not gonna finish the whole track um, in sand, not in the sand area yet. Because that's the strat. But basically we're gonna be skipping between stages. Wait. Alright. You're still gonna do volcano, right? Uh, no. I'm gonna do beach first. Okay, fine. It's because the route I have here, it, it has volcano first, so it's kind of confused. Yeah, no. I normally do beach. And beach is one of the most beautiful of all, I believe. I like reef, but beach is also very beautiful, especially at night. Once you finish the game, there is a beach and reef night uh, and they are so pretty so pretty okay, I this love picture marina oh gosh okay there you go and okay, uh, now we as have, you know we have sand to the left water to the right and then wing goes in the sky and they're gonna be wee, wee, <laughs> all the time now we don't have bidoof doing bidoof things now we have wingos i'm just i'm just waiting for the pikachu <laughs> Look at him. Look at him go. He's Aww. so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Aww. Look at him go. Yay. All right. In this <laughs> game, you can make Pokemon interactive items and then Pikachu can interact with like a, a toy, I guess. He's just like, what is this? And then that's a good picture. I think it's worth extra points. We have Crawler. They just just want to pinch the air and then sometimes other people. Oh, look at the Bell Awesome! That was adorable. Yeah, like we Bell need awesome. to get them to dance. Yeah. All right. So now this is the first time that we've seen this. We have a diversion in the path. Di divergence, divergence in the path. We're going to take this one over here. Ah, there you go. And uh, look at that. We have a Machamp. Please. Uh, that's Flex Sink at the beach. Because he's a crossfitter. Don't worry about it. Um, but it's funny because he has idle animations and then Garshomp's idle animation is just him flexing on the beach. He literally does those things are like uh, people do like Aah! and then it's a good picture. You're good to go. This one is hard because they have to fall and it didn't fall on the right place. Oh. What place I have was terrible this? space notion. Oh my oh. god. Oh, but that part is horrible. You need to hit the fish that's hidden in the sand, and then that apple is horrible to control. Oh, so I to see. be fair. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a hard you know? that's a hard one. That is a hard one. I can see that would be a hard one. A stone right, fish gets you. under the sand and then you need to make the apple fall on top of it, but it takes a while, so it stays on top and then falls. You need to make it angry. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Look at, look at her. She's Aww. just too sad. Oh, that's so just cute. Yes. Aww. Aww. <laughs> uh. All right. I might have to come back, but that's not super bad. Which is the most chill stage because this is very short compared to the others. Oh, I can probably take this one. Crab Brawler. Oh, 
alright. Let's hope that I got 30k out of all of that. Uh, yes, I got the right stunt fist. Under the sea. So, Under the sea. normally, Wingle, you would like to bop it, but did you see the first picture? Trying to get the first picture is hard enough because it's flying over you. Uh, <laughs> bopping it <laughs> is so also. Super yeah, imagine a jet flying the sky and then you try to throw an apple at it. It's exactly trying to aim a wingo. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's complicated. We have Vivi Long. Alright. The artillery, at least I got it. It gets sapped out of its mind. Pikachu. Also, yeah, I always try to take pictures of the same Pokemon but in different poses because uh, it saves time. Because every time you get a new Pokemon, like an actual new Pokemon, you need to get the professor's stamp over it. So we need to wait. Oh, that's a new Pokemon. He shows the whole picture and then puts the stamp on it. And then now they can choose the picture. <laughs> You don't even choose a picture, I think it puts for you, for you, you and then you just go by, but you waste like 40 seconds in that. Instead of 10, like 5, it's a lot of time. Yeah, like right now I took already crap, lo crap brawler, so I could have taken the ex executor, but I took this one in a different pose, which counts as more points, just so I don't lose them more time. And look at us, we're on our way. So now we're going to, after you go on the beach, you go a little bit deeper into the water and that means that we are in a reef. I was singing Under the Sea earlier because I was looking at this thread, so I was like, I, I forgot that's called Under the Sea. <laughs> under the Sea, Under the Sea. New also, area. Reef is my favorite, especially it's the only stage that has evening for some reason. It's not night. It's, no, it's day, night, and evening. Oh, yeah, like, that's oh. one. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a stage that we don't need to do, actually, for the end percent, so... I love taking not this stage, one, though. Not the time of the day. This one is beautiful. Oh, is that the one I'm thinking of? It's not the, the, the Wingo taking Finio, right? Yes. Oh yes. no. Definitely, definitely there's a there's a Finion that goes missing. And then we for for the sake of um of for not letting people know what happened. Um Finian is okay. I think so. We believe. Alright. And we're gonna do this. So look at this Sharpedo. And he's gonna get very angry at me. Very, very angry. Fun fact, Sharpedos have tough skin. It's tough or rough. Uh, if you try to touch a Sharpedo, it actually does damage to you, so it's not recommended. I mean, I can point many of the things for why you shouldn't touch Pokemon involve um, careful, involve being careful. But yeah, I like to explain the fun facts. And now, so if you see a Drifling carrying something, you know what I mean. So we took another Magikarp, and now this is going to propel us. But before, we're gonna take one of my favorite pictures for some reason. I just really love this little guy here. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, the, the Magikarp in the Whirlpool, it's a reference to the mobile game. I think it's uh, Magikarp Splash or something, I don't know. It's just a game that Magikarp Splash everywhere and then you get more points. But yeah, it's a reference. Also you have a Waylord that blocks away, so you can also go left to right. That's why you have to but keep pressing uh, I mean, the D-pad to the front. Because of Waylord. Yeah. 
kind of goes the same way. You just lose more Pokemon and take pictures of. Alrighty, so we're gonna take pictures of the Mentine and the Matchamp. Matchamp is always everywhere. He does a triathlon. At the beginning he was running and then after he's gonna be swimming. I there. don't know if he can ride a bike actually. There's <laughs> a picture. <laughs> <laughs> he'll, he'll ride a bike for a picture. <laughs> <laughs> there is a picture in a different level on Rave Day that it's so dear to me, which is uh, Pikachu on a Mentine. It's surfing on a Mentine. Um, mm -hmm. And I just adore it. So, if you haven't played this game, you definitely should. There's so many good pictures. All right. Yeah, Poor I, I, think, I think that I have to see this. Can we just uh, stop what you're doing? We need to go into and see the Pokemon, <laughs> the Pikachu Ride of the Manatee. Uh, it's, it's great. I think I have the picture on my other file if we have enough time to go yeah. look at my different file. Okay. Because I would so love to see that. It's adorable. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. They're ha like, he's, he's having so much fun. <sighs> Alrighty. So, we finished Reeve. It's pretty, pretty simple, pretty fast, very cute. Uh, we need 35,000 points. Let's hope we got them. Spice it to got Bella Pepper. Uh, no. Oh, and it took, it put Marianne in the. In the yeah. Uh, I see. Marianne, also known as Mary Mini. <laughs> she follows all the so mean. Yeah. Um, I did have a question from chat, if it's okay to yeah. ask. Um, yeah, go ahead. I was wondering for both, and I'm just going to ask for both because I, I am curious for both. Uh, do you have a favorite photo overall in this game? Probably. Um... A lot of them would compete for that place in my heart. It's very hard to get to my heart. Uh, not really, actually, but it's really hard <laughs> to get to that place in my heart. Um, the one that I just said, uh, Pikachu on a Mentine, it's very high up. Um, it would take a very, very cool picture for it to be trumped. So I would say that one for now, unless I remember another one, but I can tell you there's hundreds of pictures. Different variations oh. of pictures. Like, there's so many. I would say play this game. There's wonderful pictures, all wonderful pose. My favorite, it's Wingo stealing Finium from the water. Because <laughs> the first time I did that, I threw an apple and I was like expecting nothing from it. Then I saw a Wingo just taking my Pokemon, taking picture of away. So I was like, yeah, that's my favorite picture. <laughs> Because you're just uh, chilling, goes and then all the way down, just take the fish. But the fish is funny, it appears at the end of the game, you just being carried around. Alright. So we went from beach to the reef, and now we're going underwater. We're going to under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. <laughs> under the sea. Downwards, water, take it from me. It's because mine is in Portuguese, so it's like. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> no, so so fun fact. I had to sing that. You know when you're like in those like you're in school and you're like a little kid and you had to do like those like uh, performances in front of people. And so yeah, oh, I, remember. I remember. Yeah. And so uh, one of ours was under the sea. So that song is engraved in my head for the rest of my life, whether I want it or not. Because <laughs> we had to practice so much. I know. We do that a lot, but I don't remember the type of music. It's usually, it should be like, I don't know, just, I don't remember. But it's, I remember we do it over and over again. All right, so the first two Pokemon just decided to not look at me because I, I'm, you know, they just decided I'm ugly, which I don't know, they're wrong. But um we're gonna try to get all the other ones looking at me, looking at us. 
like this finion here. Going to pop. Um. Ah, uh, finio hiding in behind the kelps. Yep. Um, which is funny. You can make it change in between kelps because it's very scared of you. So you just keep going over and over all the kelps. It's also a bit funny that underwater, the physics of the fluff fruit, which are not apples, they're not supposed to be apples. They're supposed to be something called fluff fruit. Yeah, because fun fact, actually a human food and talks for Pokemon. So we have uh, in the first game something called uh, ESPF, the apple shaped as Pokemon food. And then in this game, since people thought that the apples were very aggressive, we have the well called for fruit to make sure that the apple doesn't hurt the Pokemon. They are fluffy like a, a full one, I would say. I don't know, they don't explain, they're just like, don't worry, you're not hurting anybody, just do it. And they're like, oh, sure, why not? I was pointing yeah, out. Pika Muku, Maki Maki. Okay. Uh, <laughs> There's yeah, also. Going to him. I don't know if we saw the Pokemon. I was like to pronounce wrong. Um, no, it's on level two, I believe. Or no? Which one? Alomomola. Did I say Alomomola? Oh yeah, Alomomola. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's on a different so level. So many molas! Oh my god. So I believe that sometimes. There is this um, illuminated Pokemon that's supposed to be coming out here. Okay, so the world record for this game is 2 hours, 31 minutes, and 56 seconds for Eep. In any percent, of course, we're doing any percent. You're not doing all Pokemon because um, mm -mm -mm, too much. <laughs> yeah, Hello. all Pokemon has about four hours, it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit. Hello, someone said, let's do all diamonds. All diamonds means all four poses over uh, 4k. 4k, yeah, in points. That's oh, a lot. Geez. It that is a lot. Days. That can take lives. <laughs> no, no recommend it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that brings me back all the way to 2021. That was a, a wild year. Or new Pokemon Snap. Uh, speed running and high scoring. It went off for months. There's still people getting like very good pictures that like trump all of the others. Also, by the way, um, Tentacruz is sensitive to the sound, so when you use um, this scan, you actually affect them, so that's why they're spinning. They're like, oh, my radar, it's broken. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know what they're dancing, but yeah. All right, so... Um, now we're done with seafloor number one. We're gonna go through this three times. Okay. which is unheard of in this game, but it, there's a reason. So right now we're just getting the the points, right? We're just getting all oh, the points. Oh, okay. So you have to get the enough points to get to the next level. Yeah. Yep. And that's the first one. But because uh, as we told you, there is some other elements to the story that you need to get to progress with the story and finish the game. Um, we need to go again because we just got the crystal bloom. I just took the picture of the crystal bloom. Um, so we're gonna get the uh, the little orbs. We need to use them, but there's also we need to get through the alternate ending of this stage. For which we need to unlock something first in the second run. So there's a lot of uh, floating around, not a lot of doing, but we do need to do some other things. So stay with us. Oh, great. We need more, more points. Uh, 
I have a lot of fun facts about Pokemon because since Arceus that says a lot of things about it, I know a lot because I would, I would find funny to read the Pokedex because they say a lot of things. A lot of funny things. <laughs> so, I, we did have another question. I know this was a question that we asked earlier, but for anyone new coming into the chat, um, I know that we were mentioning this beforehand, but anyone new who's coming in, what is both your favorite Pokemon? Because uh, we did have this question a little bit earlier from chat. Yeah, Candy, did you want to Oh, yeah. my favorite... I mean, <laughs> my favorite Pokemon is Go Go because it's literally a goat. That's it. Um, and then spicy favorites Pokemon is Pikachu. Yep. Pikachu. Pikachu. It's just, it's just the best. It's cute. You can see it in the back over there. Um, I, I have probably, uh, here in the house, we have probably three, three plushies already and waiting on getting way more of Pikachu. Um, so yeah, uh, all of my emotes, uh, basically everything it's Pikachu themed. I'm not obsessed yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I did oh. take another picture because we do need some points. So I took a love disc. Um, we're going to take a little bit of time, but we just need the points. But I'm still not getting out because we don't need to get out. There's this specific interaction that we need to open up for the third time. So and <laughs> it's almost at the end. Bless you. <laughs> um, all the way at the end. Uh, and we have to look at it to be able to unlock that. So, um, this would be a good time to to bring more questions up. Oh, I have another oh. question. Oh. When are you getting a huge Pikachu plushie? <laughs> Do you uh, have I a huge Pikachu? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, I see one. Like, I kind of see one. Like doing the little like peekaboo, that little like peek, you know, peek I pee, and then it's like peeking. Peek -pee. <laughs> um, so definitely yes. Then, do you want another one on top of that? <laughs> oh, I want many. I want many, many more. How about a? Uh, uh, you know what? I have an idea. What about a Pikachu on a manatee? If that was a plushie, would you get it? Yes, I would get it. Yes, I, I would yeah. absolutely get it. Okay, so I'm not seeing the one that it's supposed to be, so we're just going to quit. And we just did all of that. We need to get to probably second level still. So, Cha, I have a question for you all. Would you get a giant Pikachu plushie? Any you know those uh, Poké Center announcements, they're like, oh, get this gigantic plushie, I want all of them. The Jiro, <laughs> the Pikachu, everything. Yeah. They are so cute. They are. I have a giant they... Mew plushie. I, I do not regret my decision. <laughs> I do not regret. <laughs> I, I wouldn't either, honestly. I've seen so many big, like super big... Um... Okay, there you go, the Pelly. The pelipers are there. Um, so <laughs> I've seen the Arcanine, I think. Is it Arcanine? And then a Swana that is life size. <gasps> life and you size? can just sleep on it. So it's oh. life size, I suppose, like life size Pokemon. Um, probably not the Swana, not the Swana. What was the other one? The Altaria? No, no, the Altaria, Swabu? yes. Altaria. Ah. Uh, yeah. They're they're kind of swans. <laughs> they're birds. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're so cute. They're ginormous. Um, Are they the ones with the one. clouds? The bird with the clouds? Yeah, yes. that's it. You can literally <laughs> sleep on its clouds. And there's also Dito. That's basically just like any poof with a smiley face. It's very funny. We're going to see this one dream. a little bit more. My dreams do have a collection of the Dito plushies because it's any Pokemon just with the smiley face. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm finding it so cute. Dito's pretty cute. Not gonna lie. Mm. 
Okay, I shouldn't have looked. I looked at plushies. No, now I want to buy them. But they are pretty no. expensive. They are pretty expensive. <laughs> they are. I was like, whoa, okay. <laughs> Life size. I'm, I'm happy with my, my, my Mew. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I honestly am very, very tempted, but some of the, so, so there's, okay, so there's a list of them that are out now. And so mm-hmm. Alteria is one of them. I think Snorlax is one of them. Um, Snorlax. I think, oh wait, I was just on the website. Where did you go website? Um, there's even Garchomp. Here, I'll just look again. But it was, it's pretty interesting to see like the list of them because in my opinion, I didn't even know that they were here? Question marks? If I knew that, <laughs> my brain didn't remember. So there's Mary, Snorlax, Inteleon, Feel, Arcanine, Lucario, and Slowpoke. Yeah. From my understanding. Many of them, and they're so cute, and they're just like, they just want us to spend our money. It's, yes. It's mm-hmm. outrageous. Yes. You know, I follow. I follow a guy on YouTube that he only does the... What is this called? Unboxing of those plushies. And I watch it every time. It doesn't change anything. It's just he unboxing and throwing them on the floor. That's it. But man, <laughs> that's a plushie. Yeah. It's a huge plushie. All right, so we're good to go. So as you were seeing there, uh, we were having a competition of what was the name i forget the uh, name Clotzer. it's a quadzer yes um and we're going oh, quadzer here yeah. yeah so uh because we have the orbs okay now he's there so because we have the orbs we were able to power one of them up and so they were fighting each other and sending each other like um there you go. Uh, sending each other, like, uh, shooting each other. One of them won. And that means that uh, the other one just went away and ran away. And it's this one. And now we're powering him up to shoot something again. To be able to open up the way for us. Without it, he wouldn't be able to do it. So we did need to go all the way down to get him to lose so we can go all the way over here. Yeah, Pelipper is there. Go. Also Wingo. Pelipper is funny because uh, Wingo Trevithy has a lot of Pokemon on its mouth. No, he only has Pew Kamuku, sorry. I, I don't know how to pronounce Pew Pew. It's the little thing that has eyes and it's just like looks like um a pickle. <laughs> Like like some of the people oh, I know it's say, like, yeah, it's a monkey. cute, it's a sea cucumber. <laughs> yeah, it's a sea cucumber. Oh really? It's a sea cucumber. I didn't yeah. thought about that. Huh. Interesting. And it's funny if you poke it, they just do like the beast sign for you. There's a lot of funny things in this game. Like you guys miss Bukamiko being uh Bu- bullied by Waymer. Oh, I don't yes. know Waymer's meaning. It's a mini. <laughs> also, Mar- Mari, Mariani. Oh my god, those names. They're called Mary Mini because she keeps bullying Corsolas. There's always a Pokemon being bullied in this game. <laughs> and it's not us, it's the environment. But it's the environment. I can't do anything about it. <laughs> We're also bullying them a little bit, to be honest. Yeah, Am I proud of it? No. <laughs> but it's just necessary for, for science. Yeah, for science. The, the, the thing is, imagine the professor says, P- pick this card, use the shield, go take pictures of Pokemon. But I don't know if you guys noticed, we're in the middle of the sea, without any adult, uh, adult around, and then that's very dangerous. <laughs> I yep. don't recommend I wouldn't Go all the way to the volcano, child. Oh yeah, that's true. It's also the volcano that you can go through. What? Almost there. Alrighty. So now we're just waiting. Now we can just look at. Frilliskis is scary like that. I don't know if you guys saw, but he was holding a magic card. Uh Frilliskis are known by picking anything and drawing in it. 
So I don't recommend hugging a fetish. <laughs> but magic cups, uh, <laughs> it's just silly. They don't drown. They just go all the way to the bottom of the sea and they're frillish. Aren't frillish uh, based on jellyfish? Yeah. It does look like a jellyfish, but I'm not jellyfish sure. Jellyfish are pretty, pretty big predators to whoever they eat. Like they are, they, they will paralyze and, and eat. That's a little bit scary. So, you know, uh, do not hug a frillish. Like if you look at the Pokedex, it says it, it, it envelops its prey in its veil-like arms and draws it down to the deeps five miles below the ocean surface. So yeah, guys, what do you say? That's a dangerous environment. So <laughs> fun fact about Pokemon, just take pictures, don't get them by them. We're, we're safe. We're safe in the new one. Oh, yeah, inside the cart. It's also a Drumpa. People that have played the game know what Drumpa does. Drumpa. All right, so we're almost done. We do definitely have to go all through here. We don't need any pictures anymore. Um, so we're just enjoying the view. Oh, the Fosher Pokemon, what's the name? Uh, Lily? Lily? Uh, the one that stops us? Yeah. Cradley. Ah, yeah. Cradley. So, was... as y'all are seeing here, there's a Cradley that is just waiting in front of us, and we can try and get away from it. It will not. It will not bulge. Uh, it will stay there. There's nothing we can do about it. Only because it's a fossil Pokemon. And we just have to wait. I'm surprised that they didn't put a, a relicant there, because relicants are well known by living for more than 100 years. They are ancient Pokemon, more, more than 100 years, I think a thousand years. <laughs> oh yeah. 100 million years. Okay. 100 million what? years? There's a relicant there. Yeah, it says the Pokedex. <laughs> it's called a living fossil. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh, wow. I did not know that. I used to read the Pokedex a lot. <laughs> so I know, okay, it, doesn't some of the Pokedex have like some weird descriptions sometimes too? Yeah, like uh, the frillish that I just told, they drown like everything they touch. But like you see, he hugs March Carp and look, oh, it's a cute picture. Felicia is hugging March Carp, but if you read the book, that's it actually trying to draw March Carp. Yeah, that's. And I was like, I'm glad it's a fish. Yeah. <laughs> I remember, I don't remember. I think it was like a long time ago. I'm trying to remember what gen that I read where I was reading the Pokedex, but it wasn't like all the gens. I just read like it was one particular gen. I think it was either gold or silver. It's one of those two. It's probably most likely gold. But I remember like some like weird thing about Cubone and like there was like a whole thing there and I'm like, this oh, is yeah. kind of morbid. This is interesting. <laughs> yeah, like it, it yep. was just, oh, it was very interesting. Yeah, the skull, oh, they, they use the no. skull given by their mother. Yes. And, and that, uh, yeah. It's so sad. And there's a lot of things, like Drifling. Drifling, uh, I don't know, it's the opposite of Frillish. Instead of get, getting deep in the sea, it gets up in the sky. So it steals clampers from the beach and starts flying with them. Which is funny. Every Pokemon has its own thing. Yeah. All like, right. Like, you know it's Poink? It, it keeps jumping. It's actually his heart circulation. That's why he always jumping. Oh, okay. The bits of its heart is jumping, so it needs to jump forever, ever when it evolves. Oh. Huh. <laughs> uh. All right. So I I went over About Wishy Washy just to do Volcano first. We can uh -huh. do that. Um, but uh, we're gonna find here this uh, Tyrantrum. And he's just very, very angry. We're gonna make him more angry. Whoops. Sorry. Another fossil Pokemon. 
I like Trey Rancho. He's just like yelling around. He's like, I'm big boss here. Uh -huh. <laughs> he doesn't do anything. He's just chilling here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. So, uh, right. I am going to read a Pokemon, like, from chat. Like a description. Just to kind of give an idea of what we're talking about. Madge Cargo's body's temperature is approximately 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Water is vaporized on contact. If this Pokemon is caught in the rain, the raindrops instantly turn into steam, cloaking the area in a thick fog. And apparently oh. that was from Sapphire. <laughs> Thank you, chat. That was very interesting. <laughs> Well, I Dang. always recommend reading the Pokédex. It's a lot of funny thing. Yeah. Uh, do each of the gens have a different one for each Pokédex? Like, it's always different oh, for yeah, each Pokémon? Oh, yeah, it does. It does. It does, actually. That is interesting. Okay, now I have to, like... I'm just going to read the Pokédex for each gen. I don't know what the... I recommend the starting new. for your seals. Because your seals are more ancient, so they don't... They have things that are very interesting. Oh, what were you saying, Spicy? Sorry. No, then now with the new Pokemon, we might see, like, interesting uh, entries. Oh, no. Yeah, there's some... <laughs> and um, No spoilers, but there's just... Yeah, there's there's some that are interesting. I do have to admit. I wonder where they come up with these Pokemon ideas. I mean, some of them I'm like, okay, that's a great idea for a Pokemon. And then there's some where I'm like, mm, I don't know about that one. Maybe, but that's oh, still far the, What is the key description? You know the Pokemon that's just the key? What is his description? What it does in his life? Um, let me see. Oh. Clefique, it's a Pokemon that is always collecting keys. That's it. It steal keys from other people. <laughs> what? Wow. Yeah, uh, the keys are those are actually come with the Pokemon. He's actually only the ir the iron bars, so you steal keys from other people to put in between <laughs> spaces. <Okay. laughs> That's funny. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. <laughs> okay. All right. So we are finishing volcano. So this was a out of the blue one. I decided on the spot, so I did miss one. But basically what we're trying to do is just finish getting 30k points, and I think we got them. So normally you would get a Luxray over there next to, like, near the Altaria first. But uh, we got the later. I love Altaria. One of my favorite Pokemon. So pretty. I love Primarina. Primarina is also pretty. The Archeops. Archeops is uh, a funny guy. It's then a burb. <laughs> yes, it's a burb. The Aerodactyl. And we have the Luxray doing, moving the head somehow. And because we already have the orbs, there's no crystal bloom here that we need to get because it's in the same island as sand. So that's also interesting. It's by island and not by stage. Hmm. Archeops even better than he flies. <laughs> <laughs> because he's half a um, he's half a snake and half a bird. Charmander. Like a reptile. Eating. Then we should have gotten the 30k. Right. Yes, by far. Do, 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 do. Let's uh, go. So I'm gonna go back and do wishy washy. Which, you know, if you don't know about wishy washy, which I didn't before. Um, when I didn't know anything about Pokemon, uh, I was very confused because I took the pictures of, of the little fish and you'll see there is little fish there, um, but there's they don't count. 
the little fish don't count. It's uh, mm -hmm. it's funny, and we'll see why they don't count. Just let me get there. I wanna see. <laughs> I wanna see. No, I wanna say. No, see, see as well. <laughs> no, you might not say. Okay, so this is the one that takes a long time. We're trying to find the fish. I I really personally really dislike underwater like this. Um, like open ocean and like dark waters where you can't see anything that's happening. It, it just oh. went away. So basically, these fish are wishy-washy in solo form. And we need to get to school. Like and I didn't... Is... Oh, yeah, sorry. Were you were going to say? Okay. No. You can go. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was just going to say, like, I didn't know before that in English, the, uh, a group of fish is called a school. I was like, what? What do you mean a school? I don't want to go to school. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's what you call fish together. Sometimes the English language is complicated. You know, it's funny. I learned that when watch Finding Nemo. Like the Muntai picks out all the fish put on top of it. Not Muntai. The Manta. No, the Muntai is the Pokemon. But I uh, put all the fish on the top, so it's called a school. Which is funny to me. Also, this doesn't I'll help. <laughs> because this Wishy Washy yeah. is scary. It's, it looks like a monster. Not gonna lie. A tiny bit. Wishy Washy, it's just a lot of fishes together, but uh, yeah. I never played Sword and Shield or Moon, Sun and Moon. So when I first saw that, I was like, what? Why does it look like it's a lot of fish together? And I was like, oh, because it is a lot of fish together. All right, so I've taken, I've taken the picture. And that's it. Mm. We're just waiting. Oh, um, so if Chad fish. has any any more questions, or if we wanted to stop, this is a great time because we will be here for a bit. <laughs> also, fun fact: uh, if you re-enter the stage like multiple times, you take all the pictures of uh, Wishy Washy. It tries to eat you, so sometimes you're inside its mouth. Right. Yes. You, you can also do that. You can get wishy-washy to eat you. Yes. Ooh, I want a wishy-washy. Okay. I want a wishy-washy to eat me. That sounds so weird, but I haven't <laughs> seen it. I mean, it's a lot of fish together. It's not an extra fish. So you just see little fishies swinging around and like, okay, what am I doing here? And then, and you can't even take picture. He's just biting you like, I'm going to scare you. Yeah, uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's funny. And then he kind of spits you out, I think. Or you yeah. forget. Oh. It's it's weird. <laughs> it let it go, yeah. It let it go, yeah. Yeah. It's just like trying to scare you. It's trying to be the boss of the area. It's literally the boss of the area because a giant wish would be. But um, I did have a question from chat. Yeah, go for what, it. What what is your favorite peekaboo? Peekaboo? Wow. Don't ask me where <laughs> that came from. What is your favorite <laughs> Pikachu emote? My favorite Pikachu emote, I have to plug myself. I'm sorry, but you know, um, Spicy Riot. So if, if y'all are sub to me, you can get Spicy Riot. Um, it's, a, it's a Pikachu rioting uh, and, and doing crime, you know, doing a bit of crime, a tiny bit. No. I made the emote myself <laughs> and I really yeah. love it. I use it every day. Oh, you did a that great job. Candy. I didn't realize. Oh, oh, the next shout out is going to Candy, too. <laughs> I have to do. Here, here you go. Candy, Candy's a great artist. You know, if anyone wants emotes like this, like Spicy Riot or any Pokemon, actually, any Pokemon emotes, she's great at them. Um, There's some others of the ones that we've seen in Sand, like uh, Sand Shrew. She's done. Oh yeah, Sandshrew. Like this one. 
When he gets She's scared. Probably. It's actually the funnier Pokemon's now. <laughs> uh, we should probably get um, Candy to do some some of the, the new ones. The Fue Coco, Sprigatito, Quaxley. I love, I love explaining name? Pokemon names. I, I want to explain the Fue Coco now. So can I commission... So maybe I should do this. Uh, I will definitely like a kitty... Uh, so I'm making an all kitty team for reasons, and uh, oh. I would definitely like <laughs> to have a whole, I have a whole kitty team at my disposal. If I can have a whole kitty emote team too, that would be amazing. All kitty. Oh, okay. <laughs> kitty kid. I, I believe Candy's capable of doing any any kind of emote that she puts Ooh. in mind too. Ooh, okay. As you can see, she's very good. So, yeah. Aww. Shameless plug. Follow Candy. <laughs> Commission Candy. She's great. Yeah. Aww. Here we go. Let's give some some little Ducky. love. Some love to Candy. Oh, we're almost done. Look at that. That was great. That was nope. an Aww. awesome time together. Just, yeah. you know, going in the deep sea, looking at all the plankton, because I believe that should be plankton. That's what I was about to ask. Is that a legit plankton, like the, the little blue things that yeah, are in the I water? Yeah, I believe so. Way? So after after you do a Lumino Pokemon, there is levels, like different levels, as same as the other stages. And on the second level, and this one, I believe, on Wishy Washy, you have... Um, Waylord, you have uh, Whalmer, uh, you have what other things do you have? You have other ones. Um, oh, those. I think those are the ones. Uh, Whalor, Whalmer. Is Magikarp here? No. But you, you can find different ones. It just looks very empty the first time. But the second time and the third time, it does it does look a little bit more full, <laughs> a little bit more lively. Oh yeah, because we're in a new file, it looks very empty, which we get a lot of research points. All right, so now we're going to go to Volcano again, but we're not going to do the same that we did before. Um, well, we're actually going to do something similar. To what we just did. Um, to what we just did in Seafloor. So we need to get an alternate ending to Volcano. So all we need to do is just go through it. And finish it. And I think it's taking us to camp. And he wants us to go to camp. And all my homies hate camp. Because that's one of the most difficult to get all of the like oh yeah oh my gosh yeah high score but like uh the camp is just a practice area you can actually just ignore the whole game you know exactly <laughs> unless you want to complete the pokedex you need you going here all right so here um there's more pokemon and everything so we can just look at them look it's so cute look at it Oh, so what is everybody's favorite Pokemon? Yeah, we we've said our Pokemon. What's everyone's Pokemon? Ooh, Share what's our Pokemon in chat. Yeah, that's a great question. I want to see those answers. So oh, there's also Lindsay yeah. Joe's hidden this game. If you want to know which ones they are, you need to play the game because he's <laughs> not going to show you any percent. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of Pokemon. Is, is there any Charmander here? There was a Charmander here. Oh, you got a Tyranita. Alrighty, do you want to hear the he answer? Yep. Okay, so we got Dragonair. Norla, <gasps> Tyranitar, Psyduck, Eevee, Arcanine, more Eevee, Crocodile, Pikachu and Squirtle, Spiel, Seal? Is this Seal or Spiel? 
Uh, Bulb steel. It's steel. It's steel. No, it's steel. Okay. Uh, Bulbigs. Auroras. I actually love Auroras too. That's another one of my favorite. Um, Lapras is another one. Um, Missing Note. Gengar. Aegislash. Tyranitar again. Umbreon. Trubbish. Trox Toxicity. Troxicity. Snorlax. Uh, Primarina? Yeah. Marina. And most of wow, those Pokemon are in the game. <laughs> 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 uh, I love it. Oh wait, someone said Dragonair. Yeah, I love I love Dragonair. I I do too. I love um, what's the the evolution of Dragonair? Oh my gosh, that's Dragonite? one of my favorites. Dragonite. Dragonite. Oh my gosh, how could I forget? Yeah, Dragonite no. is one of my favorites. You were asking for my favorites, Dragonite and Cyndaquil. Oh, I love yes. Tripos, yo. Tripos okay. is in this game. Most of the Pokemon that everybody mentions in the game, I think just not Age Slash. And, and Tox Toxtricity, that's a very difficult yeah. name to say. Yeah, that's a hard one to say for me. Toxtricity? So you know this song? Uh, Toxicity? 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 Yeah. So okay. I was like, chuck, 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 chuck. I, I, I couldn't get Toxtricity out because I was getting stuck with that one song. Yeah, I'm with you on that because oh, I like for some reason I just want to say toxicity, and, <laughs> and then I want to start singing it, and I'm like, no, that's not the name of the Pokemon. I know that. Not for the sure. name. <laughs> All right, so we're going through the blue room, which is blue lava, uh, and we just lit it up by lighting up the crystal bloom. Oh yeah. And then. now we're gonna look at the evolution of my beloved oh this part of the stage when you level up the research levels you get so many pokemon running there like flareons uh, magmars and charmanders chinks it's just a, a mess <laughs> but it's worth a lot of points so you want um, as many pokemon as you want oh a difference between the original game and the new game is that in the original game you only get extra points if you have pictures of the same pokemon Actually, uh, a lot of the same Pokemon in the picture. Here in your Pokemon Snap, you can put any Pokemon you want. As more Pokemon you fill in, more points. So if you want to put a lot of Pokemon in your picture, it looks like a mess, it's worth a lot of points. I'm not, not the one that judge the pictures here, it's the professor. If the professor likes it, you win. Interesting, okay. <laughs> I yeah, because it, it turns into a whole maze. Like if you see Torco, four stars, four stars, yeah. It's just all the Pokemon over the Pokemon. You can barely see the extra Pokemon that was supposed to be in the picture. Huh, okay. Interesting, okay. Alright, so we finished going through again. Just, you know, uh, having a stroll for research. Hello? I love the dry clothes and it's just very mad all the time. <laughs> very <laughs> angry. All right. So we finished Volcano 2 and now we have unlocked the Illumina Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Just remind me on the, of their. Uh, just remind me of another fun fact. None of the Pokemons in this game evolve. You can see the evolution, but they don't evolve like the actual Pokemon Snap game. Oh, that's, that's fair. true. For for what reason? I don't know why they decided to do it like this. Huh? That's interesting. That's a good comparison. I hadn't thought about that. I haven't you either. Don't but see, now I... Oh my gosh! You don't see also, any any okay. evolve that's like when you're looking at it. But that makes me have also. a new idea for Pokemon Snap, like the new new Pokemon Snap. The new new Pokemon Snap will be all about their evolutions and catching them during the evolutions, but making them evolve too. You can kind of like can spin actually it. control the card, and it's an open world. That's going to be wild. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> imagine. That's, that's what a good idea. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Get me out of those rails. <laughs> I need to take pictures. I would get behind that. Because it would be so interesting to see, you know what I mean? Like to actually see the evolutions happen too. Like that's, a safari. That's, 
Yes. Oh, yes. Exactly. Cece got it, and new Pokemon Snap 2, a new journey. Yeah, a new journey. Yes. I love that already. Okay, Nintendo or whoever makes... Hold on. Who does Pokemon Snap? Sorry, my brain forgets who does the... It is ah, Nintendo. So, okay. Yeah. Right? They have someone that helps them, Nintendo? but I, I forgot which one is. Let me check. Into them to the rescue. This Illumina Pokemon is beautiful, but it's so annoying. Oh, um, Bandai Namco. Because they're just going everywhere. So basically what you have to do here is you have to hit it with a, with a, an apple first, a fluff root. You have to hit them first, right? And then once the fire is done, it's died out, you have to send an orb to be able to light it up the way that the Illumina Pokemon count, right? But they just keep moving. They don't like you. They don't like you hitting them with apples, which I think no one would really want you hitting them with apples, right? So they keep moving Bandai. too much. Bandai Nenko helped with the, the making of the new Pokemon Snap. There we go, I finally found the name. But I'm not gonna take the picture because there is a picture that we can take at the end. Like very at the end. It's very risky. It's a very risky strat. But at the end, the two Volcaronas will be flying around. And if you take it at the last second that you can take it, they will not stay too long in front of you at the end and stop you. So you can take it at any time, but we're just gonna wait until we're supposed to be taking it so they don't appear in front of us when we're trying to get out of the stage. But yes, Volcarona is a pain. Loof moths. Um, <laughs> that was good to know. Thank you for telling me. Because that was really interesting. Uh, I didn't know that at all. When I was playing this, I did not know that. Yeah. It took a while before I could actually even get a fluff root to them in the first place, let alone get the orb on top of it and let alone take the picture before the stage was over. It's it's a whole thing. All I remember was kept throwing the, the thing at it. Yep. The, <laughs> yeah, that's all I remember. I was just like, it was the fruit or something. I was just throwing it at it. All right, so the way that you can know that you're almost at the end is when you're starting going to the left on a pillar. So I think probably soon. And then the Volcarona starts appearing like from from the from behind the pillar uh, over here. So I believe it's this one. Yeah, you'll start like just throwing blood fruit. Also, another fun fact, they took out the best ball that was used in the original game for reasons. Because you don't want to throw gas at Pokemon. I don't recommend it. So they just took it all and now it's the Illumina Orbs. But if you play the past game, it's just like... I don't even know what it would be. The professor kind of explains it, but uh, literally the name past ball explains itself. There's so many fun facts. I play too many Pokemon. I should be working out more. <laughs> <laughs> I will uh. join you on this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go do yoga. I love yoga, actually. Oh, stretching the body is so nice. Oh, yeah. That's why I love it. Because like the, it's the whole like being able to like like stretch as well as like clear the mind. Oh, I love it so much. All right. I got it. <laughs> Barely, <Yay>. but I did. <laughs> it was a little bit hard. Um, Normally we stop good. here. They're twin Volcaronas and they are both female. They have been living for more than years together. 
which is funny. I think they have a little story, but I, I forgot in the top of my head. I think the professor says it. See how we just stood there for a little bit, but that was it. If you didn't yeah, take they the do picture, a little dance in the end. they will dance in front of you and they will stay in front of you for like a good minute. So you definitely don't want that happening. So if you if you are interested in doing this run, look into that strat because that will save you some time. And Volcarona has very, very pretty pictures. Like once you get into like the hang of it, all the poses and everything, it's beautiful. I feel it's one of the most beautiful, personally. I don't know which one I think is the most beautiful. I'm trying to think. I think this would probably be the one that I would say is the most beautiful. But um, I'm not an expert. <laughs> I don't remember. My brain's very fuzzy. I mean, I would say Mew is the most beautiful, but I, that's a little bit biased there because that's my favorite. So. Same. I would say the same out of Pikachu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If I had to be objective, wow. But, uh, huh. Sorry, now I'm thinking about it. You can think through. We're still going at it. Yeah, because, so the other thing that's in my head, too, is the evolution that we were talking about earlier with, like, the whole idea of, like, you know, the new, new Pokemon, uh, you know, the sequel to this game. Um, it's going to be, you know, I was thinking about like the Nintendo 64. I forgot a lot about the Nintendo 64 version. I guess there were some evolutions in that one. But in this new, new version, I want to see the evolutions and I want to take the pictures as in like, I don't know, maybe like have a video of it. No, that's a little, it's a, it's a it, that, then you have like video snap. That That's just weird. Hold on, that's not going to work. This idea is getting contorted now. <laughs> Please, no. Okay, there you we go. We are in the special forest? What is it? It's just the forest. But it's a magical forest that uh, when you pass through the fog, uh, suddenly changes stations. But I think. Uh, since you are in Neo5, I'm only gonna see one of the seasons. But I, uh, you know, Deerling actually has all the seasons for the Deerlings because the Deerlings actually has something special with this forest. That again, if you wanna check it out, late I game. recommend late the game. <laughs> <laughs> because there's a lot of stuff. Like, if, if we would do everything, since it's 90%, we short a lot of things. Oh, thank goodness. I Got me summer. That's the one that I normally get. Pretty good. Yeah, because usually it's a clean file gives you summer. That's the best for points. For points in this case, research points. But um, can give you spring, can give you fall, and can give you winter. I think the worst one to get is winter. So yeah, when you increase the research level in this stage, there is Esp Espion. Espion is actually the one that controls which place you're gonna be. Which is funny. Because I don't know what one connects to the other, but the game basically is like, oh, if you throw an apple at Espion, it's gonna guide you to this place. If you throw an phenomenal orb, it's gonna guide you to this place. We thought it was random, but basically Espion playing with us. Well, technically, okay. it it's is a, right now. It's a cute cat. Yeah, it's a cute cat. It's allowed. So basically, the first time that you go through, when you still don't have Espeon, it's completely random. But once you have unlocked Espeon, you can choose, as Scandi was saying. But right now, I have no way of choosing. And it normally gives you either summer or spring in the first time. Um, spring one is a little bit more difficult to take uh, because there's just a lot going on and they're too far apart. Um, 
with summer it's a little bit easier as you saw and i was a bit relieved <laughs> to see that it, it got me summer last time it got me spring and it was not great um no. so i have to G. Hi. Ooh. yeah it was a good energy mm -hmm. because they just So I didn't even know that there was. So, I didn't even know there were seasons in this one. <laughs> you just did it. <laughs> uh, I did it in the fog, I think, or I did it like this, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah. It 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 took a while, especially for routing. It took a while to figure out a lot of things, um, and how they worked or why they worked the way that I did. So how could we like? manipulated to for our advantage um i was not part of this i keep talking as if i was part of that i just looked i was there supporting all the people that were figuring it out um but not necessarily did it myself oh it's always really cool just to even be a part of it by like you know it's just really cool to watch the development to the speed run yeah and that is what like that's what I love about speedrunning is the development and learning. Yep, and I have absolutely. To admit, this is probably one of my favorite Pokemons as well. It's a Rapanders. It's a beware. Oh yeah, this stage is also really tricky because it took me a long while to figure out the 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 hidden path. The hidden path is behind Traven. <laughs> so some people finish the game and never found the, the actual alternative route. That's why you can see some of the seasons, because if you go straight, there's only two seasons. That's um, summer and spring, and when you go to alternate path, it has fall and winter. There you go. We have taken all of the pictures. Also, it's very silly how to open the path in this one. You need to make a... Um, I forgot the name of the little Pokemon. It looks like a panda. No, no, not a panda. Sorry. It's like a koala. It's a uh, spur. You need to make spur. Oh, esper, yeah. Esper. Yeah, esper. See, I pronounced everything wrong. <laughs> if you need to get esper, <laughs> move to the Trevenant and make a Trevenant be happy about esper and just leave the path. Um, I do yeah. have a question from chat really quick. Uh, which would you say is the most difficult stage to speedrun? Ooh, well, as I was saying, there's multiple ones that I personally feel are more difficult just by the nature of my own skill. Um, I am by no means the best or any of the best. Um, I, I talk to a lot of the best, but uh, that's pretty much why I speedrun this game. Um, for me, it's mostly the ones that need a lot of movement, like very specific movement. Um, I would say Sand Stay um, or Snow, which we'll be seeing soon. Um, it's just the ones that need very specific frame right pictures that if you miss, it's very hard to get back the points that you needed. Um, but yeah, I, I would say some of those Sensei, Snow Knight, um, apparently Park Knight <laughs> for some reason, as we saw today, um, or Cave, which is probably at the end. So it does get a little bit more difficult as it goes. Well, I was going to say, I think you you run this game really well. I mean, and your time on the leaderboard is, I would say it's up there. I'm, it's I'm definitely up impressed. there. Yeah, <laughs> I, I have I'm had impressed. good teachers, people that are very good and that have taken the time to teach me. Uh, someone that doesn't really play that much, just in general. Um, yeah. And that's what really led me to be able to just even do this. I never even thought about like speed running. I didn't know what it was. Um, when I came into the community, I was like, oh, there's people that play games fast and and I should have known like there's a world records for everything for doing anything why not playing video games fast um but yeah it was it was uh 
interesting to find out about it and then just get into it. I'm still getting into it um, and I want to speedrun other games, but for now this is a, a very cozy, very comfortable game to, to start. It's very beginner friendly. Like anyone that would want to just dip their toes on speedrunning as I did, it's comfortable it's not stressful as other ones are like obviously you do stress about getting the right pictures but it's just you can enjoy it as you go you know yeah all right so this one is by Lodic. it's our illumina pokemon of the forest and we just have to hit her and that's it we got the picture and then we can just enjoy the beauty of this i don't know how to say um, it in, in english i know it in spanish but same way manglar oh. manglar which is basically just uh trees that are going directly into the water and they are in the water oh i know what you mean but like i also don't know how to say that it's like a swamp tree. Oh. Yeah, I, was, I know what you mean, buddy. Mangrove? Yeah, the tree that gets the roots inside the water. A mangrove, yeah, probably. Yeah. I, I was reading, I, I had a cheat sheet, I had chat. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's why I said it's a swamp tree. That's important. It floats and everything's fine. No, you explained it beautifully. I still had no idea this whole entire time until chat said it. I was like, oh. I was like, yeah, I agree. But I, yeah, I was sure. trying to think what it is. I, I didn't remember the name of it either. I forgot it was mangrove. Uh, I'm like, to me, this is just a beautiful, like, serenic moment. And it's the music beautiful. is good too. Yeah. Um, I was going the okay. the second level uh, of this. There is an interaction of Milotic and Nine Tails over here, <gasps> and they they just connect in a way. It's it's emotional, I believe, <laughs> um, spiritual even. But they just connect, and you take a picture, and it's so beautiful. I would believe that's another beautiful interaction that you can take a picture of. I was going to say a fun fact, since I also have a lot of fun facts around the way. Um, my logic before evolving it's a Phoebus is one of the ugliest fishes in the whole Pokemon series. So the fun fact about that is that, you know, the I think it's the little little goose story. That everybody would call it the ugly goose the, the, when she turns the into ugly an actual duckling? goose. Yeah. And then that's basically my logic story. Because the Fever is the ugliest fish ever and then turns into the most gorgeous one. That doesn't even look like a fish anymore, but uh, it is still a fish. Yeah, it's technically still a fish, but it's so pretty. I love my Lodric. The shiny. Okay, someone asked about shinies. My Lodric would be a perfect shiny because it turns golden. It's something extreme, extremely beautiful. Yeah, I. It's not. You can't get it. I mean, as I told you, I don't know a lot about shinies. Uh, you can't get a shiny melodic, or you can? You can. It's not a legendary, it's just a normal Pokemon, but uh, in the Illumina, they are just huge. Oh, interesting. Because of the Illumina Feminomo. Fe Phenomenon. Yeah. Thank you, my English. <laughs> English language is just complicated. Oh, I, I, I a, agree. <laughs> you haven't met me in a while. I always say language is not my first language. It's like, but it didn't say any language. It's like, yeah, because any language are going to fail me. So don't worry about it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> being, being multilingual, like at least bilingual, that's what you get. You end up not being good at any, any of them. Uh, for me, Spanish and English, I find myself doing Spanglish a lot um, but now I can't speak proper Spanish completely anymore or proper English at all so it's it's funny it's complicated yeah 
or figure for my whole language story. Because my first language is actually Italian, and then only my grandfather spoke Italian, so they're like, oh, let's forget about it, and then I started speaking Portuguese. So my Italian is horrible, my Portuguese is horrible, and then comes English. That it keeps mixing Portuguese and then Italian. So everything is just a mix of a very good salad. It's phenomenal. I love hearing that. I have a I have a friend that can speak, I think, close to seven languages. And I'm just like, I can't even how question mark? But I'm mm -hmm. impressed. I'm impressed. But uh I know for me, like I could read Spanish, but I can't speak it as well. But uh, my husband can speak Spanish very well. But even then, it has an accent that's a Cuban accent because he's Cuban. And yeah. so it's very different than if he were to go to like, because like he even went to like, um, like Panama. And it's just, it's very different because um, he even tried to speak Spanish there and it was just, it was just different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. Same no, thing for that's... Portuguese. Because it's Portuguese or Portugal. And then sometimes I look at someone and they're like, you're speaking my language, but I can't understand you. <laughs> Which is funny. <laughs> that happens to me a lot. A lot with... Um, with Spanish from Spain. Their accent is just too thick. I can't do it. Well, I can't do it. I can't... I can't stand it. Sorry if anyone is Spanish here. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. <laughs> Yeah, when me and my husband, when we were in Spain, I was trying really hard to understand, but he was speaking slower and he was trying to make sure he was being clear. I think that's what it was. Because he was, it, it's because I've heard him when he's normally speaking to his family. And then in Spain, he was speaking slower just to make sure that he wasn't like, I think he was just trying to make sure he was enunciating it correctly. But mm -hmm. when you when he's speaking to its fam to his family, it's beautiful because it's just so like flow. It and, just like, flows. Yeah. Flows. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Yep, I can't. I, I can't with that one. Unfortunately, yeah. It's, I think it's because just I'm just so used to my own accent, which a lot of I am from Colombia, and a lot of Colombian people don't believe that we have an accent, and I guess we do. Ha we do enunciate a lot of the words, but. Um, we do have an accent. It's just in the intonation of it, but yeah. All right. I just, how, uh. I just like how technology make a uh, possible people from multiple places to be together. That's the most wonderful thing about it. So that's why I like join live events because you can just literally meet anybody anywhere. Yeah, me too. I love meeting everybody and like hearing the story. Because to me, it's just, it's always fascinating to learn. But also, like, that's what I, I like, I like about in person events is that you get to see, like, you get to meet new people, but you get to see old friends too. That's the other thing. Yeah. I mean, I also like, like online events too. It's just a different, they're just, there's different reasons for both of them. And the reasons why I like for both of them are different. Oh, I see. <laughs> I mean, I have a mix of everything together here. Yeah. Also, we are in Snowlands, which, as the name says, is the land of snow. And uh, Magikarp is there. Maybe the water is freezing. Maybe it's very frozen, actually. I don't know how he's swimming there. But he's happy. That's what matters. We have the famous people up there, always mad too. Most of the Pokemons in this game are always mad. Oh, are they? Yeah, it just has feels, feels chilly. But most of the Pokemon, <laughs> they're very bad at you. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I, I like Spiel because it just, it's just chilling. That, that like should just... Yeah. Piplop has like a little soft spot in my heart because it's so cute. But also like, now so it was like a... Yeah, but it's just so cute too. I can't help it. It's just so cute. It's like my dog. She's adorable, but she's so mischievous as well. <laughs> yeah. They just yeah. have a soft spot in your heart. Yeah. 
Alrighty. So, we're getting... This field is beautiful. That is a good picture. Although Just he's chilling. not looking at us, but it's yeah. it's a good size of picture. So even though we're trying to get them to look at us directly so we get more points, um, if they're a little bit bigger, they do give a little bit more points. Trying to get 25,000 and we got 30. So we're good to go. Okay, so each level, if I recall correctly, the points, but also, so, so mentioning earlier, and this is just for anyone new that's coming in, mentioning about like the Pokemon and the angle of it, it, if it's bigger, then that's more points. But if it faces you, is it more points or is that less points than the bigger, if that made sense? Um, I'm not quite sure. I was actually like just looking at it when I was practicing for today. Um, I think it might like size might be a little bit better than uh, direction, but that okay. could also just not be true for certain other ones. Maybe it just has to do with each Pokemon. Um, oh, yeah, that's a good point. By definition, you just always try to have them looking at you as much as most as possible and the closest as possible. Um, gotcha. Yeah. That makes yeah, sense because, yeah, each Pokemon's different too. Because we have placement, usually they ask you for the Pokemon to be kind of centered, but now the definition of center is kind of different because it doesn't need to be center, center, like that center in the picture. And then size, depending on the pose of the Pokemon, because some have special poses, so whether or not they're going to be far, um, it's not something that you can change. But it has a lot of characteristics that depending on what you do, you get you more points. Like, oh, the Pokemon is facing you, the Pokemon is in the center of the picture, the Pokemon has other Pokemon around it. And then there's also items in the background that give you more points. Like I said before, crystal rooms give more points, tornadoes. Usually you need to see what the skin says, but it actually give you more points. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that neither, like in the first... Pokemon Snap, nobody knew how to explain how to get points. You just get it. You just take the best picture you can. If that happens, that happens, but... Imagine the algorithm inside the game. Who programmed that? Oh my god. So that Crystal Bloom, you really, really want to get because... Um, because if you don't get it, you have to go all the way to get it, right? as you have to get the crystal bloom every time that it's at night or that the crystal bloom is bright. Always oh, remember yeah. the crystal bloom. <laughs> I forgot this fact. Uh, we take a picture of the crystal bloom because actually the professor needs to do the research for it, right? We not only take pictures of Pokemon, he get data over the picture for him to be able to do something. So the Illumina obviously is discovered through the picture he took from the crystal room on the first stage, but it needs to be like uh, ignited, like it needs to be shiny. I don't know what it makes it shine, but it needs to be bright all the time. And then you take a picture and the professor's like, oh, you know, from your picture, I got something. It's like, are you sure? For me, it's just a flower, like shiny, but I'm praying for him they can get all the data just from a picture. That's how, it, how, that's how his mother is. So. Overalls, you just need to interact with, with the stage. There's many things to explore in this game. This game, every, like if you ever did high score, every day someone discovers something different that nobody noticed before. There's just so many ways to get so many things. Oh, and the flip up, the people up race. If you stop their race, they get mad at you. Yep, really? get very mad at you. You're like, why you stop my race? They go straight to you just to yell at you. Huh. All right, so this one is a little bit complicated and a little bit stressful. That's why I was very silent. Um, because you have to get very specific pictures that happen in a very small time. Um, for example, the way that I stop the Abomas now from walking by bopping him because I needed to bop these fields that were in the in the way so they could go by themselves to see the, the race instead of being trumped by the Abomas now uh, in which case they would roll 
um, and they would hit the the race that is happening and everyone gets mad. So you don't want that to happen because it's more difficult to take pictures of those. Now, for example, the sand slash is also very hard to get because you have to hit it with a with an apple to get it out of the snow when it's like running through the snow. But sometimes you can get it out. The jinx is hard to get on the right time. This one is very hard. I, I went very good in this one because it's very hard to get the uh, the snow cone uh, with the crystal bloom. Um, so yes, I tell you, it's you have to be paying attention very hard um, on certain interactions. I didn't get the Piplup at the entrance of the cave or at the outside of the cave, which is the best way to take the picture. But you can still take the picture nonetheless. So it's it's, uh, it's very intricate sometimes. Let me see. It's so many pictures. Sometimes I look at this, it's like, man, that's why I always forget. Alrighty. So For we me, it's are also a good, good money. <laughs> I'm um yeah. So right now we do have to go back in and take pictures because we took a picture of the crystal bloom. So every time we took a picture of the crystal bloom and each um each stage or each island, we'll have to go back and take more pictures. Go back into the stage and take pictures with what we just gained so we're gonna have to go back we take one picture if we need more or points we can do that um but we don't we just need to take one picture deli bird the santa claus pokemon fun fact deli bird uh steal your apples to give as a gift to all the <laughs> pokemons so and cute. he actually does it. It's actually a pose for a picture. He, he he hides it on the on the little bag he has, and then just give apples to like his gnomes in the middle of the snow. Give apples to like the snow runs. He just go all over the floor giving apples. He gives everything that he finds on the floor. Yeah. And he does in Charmander's. Oh, fun fact: we didn't get there yet. Oh, did yeah. He? We did. Well, we did actually. They. They were dancing for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's because the more you get levels in the in the research, more Charmanders appear. So if you were like in the level three uh, for the volcano, and then put them now together, they're gonna start dancing and call Charizard. Yeah, and then the chairs are in the middle. All right, so now we're going to cave. So we're in the island of Duras. Cave is one of the last stages. Um, well, it's the last stage that we're taking pictures of. Um, the count. This one is one of the most complicated. It doesn't need as many points, but it's complicated. So it might be a little bit silent. If you wanna, um, I'm gonna hop in for sure. Take over. <laughs> Don't worry, man. I, I forget there's so many things in this game. We're still in cave. Let's go. Let's We're go. getting there. All I know is it's a spooky cave. Yeah, that's the famous Ginger that he uses. Like, um, I forgot the ability to use, but he keeps like. You see, like, he makes, like, a portal? Sh Shadow Sneak. Yeah, he's using Shadow Sneak. He makes himself invisible and keeps scaring all the Pokemon in the middle of the night. Which is very mini, but Gengar doesn't care. He just wants to scare people. Does he mean in life? There's also Glalie. It's always mad all the time for whatever reason. This one's a mad all the time. And they were also waking up, so they made her. In this, in this case, it's her. Because, like I said, as you reset the stage, the, the gender of the Pokemon changes. Um, uh, but yeah, 
There's also breviary that like I never understood the mineral breviary in this stage because he, it it's always very far, so you always lack on size, no matter what you do. No matter if you try to move the card or anything. There's also Korga that if you orb them in a specific position, like uh, if you're from first, four, second, third, I don't remember the actual the actual order of it. They start singing together. You know the little chicks they like come they start doing a song. Which is funny, it's also a picture. Um We have Jill dude that just dropped him from his pot that he was just killing by. So I think that's I it. also it is It's level one, so there's not many Pokemon to say about. I also wanted to add that we've had a, a zoom. I don't think we've talked about the zoom. Um oh, that we've zoom? had. Yeah. I talk at the beginning that you zoom and you can also move the cursor when you zoom. Uh, yeah, so now we have the zoom. Okay, Rampardus. He's also just do a rampage. That's why his name is Rampardus, because I like doing rampage. <laughs> just go rampage. like a bowl and it keeps eating other people. Yeah, don't recommend <laughs> I don't want. All right. I'm gonna start doing a list of candy recommendations about not touching Pokemon. That's the that's the trick. Okay. I know they're cute. That's why we're a card. We're safe. <laughs> Do not <Yeah>. touch. <laughs> Do not touch. Only picture. Okay, so we were taking a lot of pictures there. Uh, hopefully, we get all of the points. I have a fun fact about Sableye. Uh, Sableye picks shields in caves and eat them. The he likes eating shields for some reason. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know That's that. That's why he's. Yeah. That's a fun fact. That's why, That's the why he's digging on the ground. You see, he's in the cave. He's digging. He's trying to find juice to, put, to just eat it. Oh. Before everything eats it. Okay. So he's looking for the food, like kind of like a. That's cool. I didn't realize that. Yeah, I just remember. Yeah, he fits on gemstone crystals. Yeah. I'm like, it wants oh, to eat its own eyes. That's a fun fact to put in the Pokedex. <laughs> no, they put actually. I was about to say in the Pokedex that say each diet of gems has transformed its eyes on into gemstones. Really? So I actually got it right in the Pokedex. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Called it. That was planned. Not really. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. Okay. So we're missing seven hundred points. Not to fret. We can go back and take another picture. Let's see. Uh, what picture could we take? Um, I think that one should be good. But like I said, uh, we are in a card and the card has a shield. So although everything looks dangerous, we are protected. So I know people's we were in the middle the of a volcano. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we literally were literally like in the hottest place on Earth and just chilling there. That's okay. All right, friends, we have stopped taking pictures, really. Uh. There you go. So now we're going to level two of cave. So we're doing something similar to what we've done with other stages and is we're going to zoom all the way to the end. Now we can zoom before we just had to wait. Uh, now we oh. just zoom through. That I thought you meant zoom zoom, not the zoomies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I but always do have the zoomies. Oh, we actually got turbo now. Oh, we got the turbo now. That's, that's it. Oh, okay. I was like, what do I explain the zoom? I was so confused. The zoom in the camera? Okay. Yeah, zoom zoom yeah, in now the vroom can... vroom. <laughs> yeah, now we have the vroom vroom, the turbo. 
And we're going to the alternate ending. Ooh. See, this is it is very, event. very pretty. This is one of my favorite alternate endings. Um, because it has another one of my favorite Pokemon. Everyone that was wondering, another one of my favorite Pokemon that I relate to so much and uh, my boyfriend wouldn't tell you uh, is her. I relate so much to Mao Al. Like, just look at her. She's Mao looks cute, but she's... She's mad. She's mad. Uh, especially <laughs> competitive. This one is look cool. look at this. I haven't seen this. Uh, you love seeing Dianse. That's the one of the legendary Pokemon oh, that yeah. only met in this game. No, Dianse. I met it before. I like. But uh, she does a dance that she brings the whole place. And then she calls all the carbings. You know, the carbings, they, they resonate in her. And then they start spinning out to get everything so I get bright and shine. It's very beautiful. Yep. Oh, absolutely. One of my favorite ones. For sure. One of the I most difficult ones. I wish you could show all the things that this game has. It has a lot of potential. Well, not potential. It has a lot of uh, exotic things. Because like, um, it has the pose, has the special pose. Like, you didn't get any four stars pose, which is the most, is the most like, uh, awesome ones. It's pronounced Ma Y E. I can't pronounce that. Don't don't listen to him. I will I will have a stern word for with him later on. Ma will I? No. <laughs> Ma me while. <laughs> don't confuse Candy. All right. So now we are done with this, and we're going to go to the last Illumina Pokemon. One of the... I would say one of the most difficult to get. Um, they all vary, uh, vary in difficulty, but this one, if you really want to get the last one and you just want to zoom through, um, it's very risky as well, but I am... I am okay with doing it, and we're gonna try. So we're so getting we're Steelix here. today. Yeah, I was about to say Steelix. That's the worst one because he keeps jumping around. But uh, keeps jumping the around. game doesn't tell you that you actually need to trigger it for it to jump around. You just think like, oh, I need to wait for him to come back, right? No, we need to throw fluff fruit to annoy it. Exactly. You need to uh, throw fluff fruit to lure it in to your field of view, and then you have to as all of the other Illumina Pokemon, you have to throw the orbs to be able to um, get the picture because it will it's not okay. count without it. it, it it's like, uh, it's very annoying, like uh, how he jumps so fast, so fast, like you trigger it and he's like, Phew! he's already on the other side. It's very difficult to take a picture. He does defy gravity, not going to deny that. <laughs> Because it, it weighs thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds and then he's just jumping around like nothing. <laughs> to be fair, I he's made that. of steel. Yeah, steel is pretty... But that's pretty heavy. That's very heavy. I agree with you. Maybe you shouldn't this, be jumping. Maybe this game has some magnetic field. I don't know. I'm trying to do physics here, but... <laughs> 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 yeah, let's do. We can we can do math this and Pokemon. One. That's fine. I think it was the other one. Maybe it's a Pokemon move that helps. I don't know. I'm not. I'm. I just play them randomly when I remember to play. But Pokemon Snap, I do have to admit, the Nintendo 64 version. I did play that one a lot. The new one I did play, but I think I I didn't get to see the cool secrets is basically is the best way to put that. I didn't know the inside stuff. Ooh, that was intense. I love that answer. Pokemon are just magic. I love it and gonna take to my heart. <laughs> it kinda looks like the thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
All right, so this part is when uh, the professor is like, oh, I saw this one, this thing here. Please go check it out. Um, this means that it was man-made and it's not just a formation or, you know, uh, they're trying to figure out what happened with all of the Illumina. Why are they there? Um, and they find all of this. What I find really funny is that they show you all of this as a cutscene, but then they go over to explain to you over call what it is that you are seeing and what it is that they are inferring from it. But you can still take pictures, but there's no Pokemon around to take pictures of. This is what I mean. Like, you can look around, I suppose, but um, there's no Pokemon to take pictures of. So we just look around and we just wait for him to talk. So there's more questions if you want to ask more questions, chat. If everybody has qu any questions about the game, I'm here to answer. I, I oh have boy, I do speak. Oh, sorry. No, that's OK. Um, <laughs> my question is, uh, what got you into Pokemon Snap to begin with? Like, what got you into the speed run? Um, well, uh, my boyfriend is actually, uh, the world record holder for the Wii U for, uh, original Pokemon Snap. Um, and he is the former world record for, uh, holder of the N64. Um, and now it's Candy's boyfriend. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> um, I got into it because he was so into it and I just wanted to, like, hang out and, like look at his hobbies and see what all the hype was about and then i just ended up liking it as well and getting into it and obviously having someone that is so knowledgeable about speed running and has been there for a long time and knows what they're doing then that definitely uh oh no i skipped it oh i don't know why it skipped it by itself it didn't let me confirm it. Oh, we have to retry. Okay, I'm gonna... Yeah, I have to try it again. Okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was interesting to see. I thought I was just gonna get into it to, to you know, be around him. But then I kind of got uh, a liking of it on my own. And it just stuck. So, yeah. That, that was pretty much it. And then I met a bunch of people that are in the Snap community. Uh, not just the new Snap, but just old Snap as well. Um, that are just very helpful and just very cool to be around. So who wouldn't want to be part of that community, right? Yeah. I like hearing that, though, because it's, it's really cool that you wanted to get more involved into, like, what this was all about and then like you know share it with a significant other where you know you're spending quality time together because i imagine it's a lot of time i know with speedrunning you do like depending on the game and everything like that and and like what you want out of the speed run but it's always nice to just talk about the strats and talk about like how it works and then like learning about them and then sharing that together I think it's funny though that uh, on the Pokemon Snap got the world record holder, but then Candy's boyfriend. <laughs> I have to admit, it yeah. is kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's mean, pretty funny. We are all in the same community, so we we all run the original Snap. Like me, um, her boyfriend, my boyfriend, and then new Snap came out. And they're like, "Well, let's speed run it." I try it. I like. No, I like the original more. But Spice kept doing it and she's really good at it. But we are blazing the all the same community. That's why you all connect to each other. Aww. We're all connected That's to each other, cool. yes. That's kind of like me and my... Uh, uh, have you... Ori in the Blind Forest? Oh my I've gosh, met yes. So many good people because of that game, I swear. And And one of my best friends is from Ori in the Blind Forest. And what's funny about Ori in the Blind Forest too is kind of similar situation where, you know, everybody's like involved, 
Um, but now it, there's like two couples that are married, and then the other couple had a baby too. So there's something going on with Ori where you <laughs> just, you know. So I'm going to be like, okay, so Ori in the Blind Forest and Pokemon Snap, if you want to go and find somebody, go to the so two community. Find your person. <laughs> find uh, your person. <laughs> now that you're talking about Ori, though, I've been trying to get into that game uh, for speed running. It's complicated. Oh, like, yes. so complicated, but it's one of my favorite games in the whole entire world, and I would Aww. love to speedrun that game. Oh, well, if you don't mind, um, if the because I know the tech is it's like if you spend six hours doing sorrowless bash entrance, it, yeah, like basically what I was going to say was another idea to like suggest uh, there is a randomizer, and the randomizer is a lot of fun to just. You don't even know need to know the speed tech. I mean, the speed tech is good to know, but like it's oh, it's it's a good way to just learn about the world. Maybe not the abilities to the world because everything's scattered, but it's good to just be able to be like, oh, okay, this is what the world is like, and then like you can kind of learn speed tech like in a way that you want to. But also, the community is very very welcoming, and if yeah. you get into the community and you have like any questions, they are more than happy to help. Like there's a lot of good people there. And they definitely want to like have more people in the community. So if you're ever down, I'm happy to help out. If you ever want to know more about Ori, I do like the randomizer oh. a slightly bit though more because I'm a little bit biased. <laughs> I like the randomizer <laughs> a lot. Uh, aren't we all biased on something though? <laughs> yeah. But it all is right. a very interesting speed run. Very technical. I I've seen it. It's like. It's a uh, hats off to everyone that can do it. Uh, I was watching it during my birthday when I got COVID and I was just baffled. Oh, by the way, this right. place is cool. This place is beautiful. Yes, I we think. are in the ruins. So uh, this is uh, I forget the name of the island. Uh, uh, what's the name going. of the island? Anyway, names. we'll 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 see and it later, <laughs> or someone can say it in chat. So this island is where we have all the energy from all the Illumina Pokemon uh, coming in, and we just are trying to find out why. So what we're doing right now is I took a picture of the <laughs> of the crystal bloom. Bless you, crystal bloom of this island, which is the one in the middle over here this one uh took a picture of the one glowing as we have done with all of the other ones and now we have to just finish and then re-enter now that we have the orbs because we need the orbs to finish the game so every one of those ruins. fountains well this is ruins. ruins what is no what's the name of the island i keep forgetting the actual orbs. place right yes Thank you. Uh, what? Or, yeah. Or, 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 um, or, um, or, 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 <laughs> That's my best interpretation. Uh, the ruins is. Uh, which one has a fountain? Which one of this fountain uh, drains the power of uh, the Illumina? The Illumina flowers are appearing in all the islands. So basically, we're gonna put all this power together. I don't know if you notice there's a, me a tree in the middle that's actually absorbing all this power. So you're gonna activate all those fountains and then open a portal. Now, where this portal is gonna lead us, uh, you're gonna see in the ne next chapter. So stay tuned. I mean, I won't say chapter, but it's actually the same island. We're just gonna go down, but we need to reload the game to get in this same stage to go to the same to a not spot. Sorry, <laughs> to a not spot. We are right at the end of this speed run, friends, and, um, you know, stakes are high. We're almost at the end. Hype. Hype. Hype, hype. Arrow. 
Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> the first one was it's a little a sad. Yeah. <laughs> I had to do it. Oh. But honestly, thank you for showing this. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I honestly like it's the speed run is vastly different than the casual playthrough, in my opinion. Very, very different. I know there's a lot going on that like is just happening at once and that you have to do at once. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw I saw people questioning in chat like, well, but why are you taking pictures? It's because basically the Pokedex itself, you don't need your capture. In the anime, actually, you don't need your capture the Pokemon. And the Pokedex itself can scan and tell the characters of the Pokemon. But basically we nice. do, as in the past Pokemon Snap, we take pictures of Pokemon for research. Uh, we are studying their behaviors, we are studying the surroundings, we are studying the ABN. We are basically just doing like a camp research. So it's kind of a spin-off. It does have Pokemon, but it's not what you expect from the original game. Everything is very different. Um, but yeah, I see a lot of people like, but why are you taking pictures of Pokemon? <laughs> why not yeah. take pictures of Pokemon? Hmm. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's other gauze. Yep. Oh my God. And what I did here, actually, okay, uh, I did something called a Go Lurk snipe from all over there, up there. So I sniped it before I came here, so I didn't have to do it there and wait for the Go Lurk to walk because it's too slow. So that's uh, one of the strats to do. It's a little bit hard, but you know. <laughs> and now. You light them all up, and somehow this starts glowing. Oh my gosh, what would it be? Oh, I was watching this just like how I already saw that. I'm confused. Oh, I'm going to delay. <laughs> oh, that's the part I was talking about. You see, the, uh, it, which fault is going to react? Because we activated the crystal balloon observant. We activated all of them, yeah. Also, there's Woobats. You know the Woobat that's like that heart-shaped nose? It glues <laughs> to the tree with the nose pointing to the tree, which is kind of funny. You look at it, it's like, why is doing that? <laughs> it's so funny. Just kind of yeah. kissing the tree. And the body and body. Let's go. We're reaching the right. end. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All I right. doubt anybody's gonna guess what is the last boss. It's the. If you play all the Pokemon series and doesn't get a, a first look, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> all right. Fun fact about this this is the only stage you don't need a second level to go over. Um, through the story, um, because you just okay. did a big thing. You didn't really need the pictures. I was um, about to say you don't even take pictures of the Pokemon. It's literally empty. <laughs> it's the only stage that we just take the balloons. So now, what we're gonna go do is find the ultimate Illumina Pokemon, the god of this <laughs> entire story. <laughs> Because my favorite, it's from my favorite Pokemon series. Just because it has the whole Pokedex in it. And then when I look at the tree, I was like, oh? And then I remember the story of that one series. And I was like, ah, now everything makes sense. And yeah, we're gonna see the last boss. Whoever can guess it, is gonna get a trophy. All right, now we're gonna do it right. There you go, Illuminous Spot. So there is something here um, where we completely skip um, the last oh, part the of, of, the, of this stage after we have taken the picture of the Pokemon. 
um, the ultimate Pokemon. And there is it, it is quite a long um, scene, um, cutscene. So we're trying to avoid it. But that's it, it's a very, very risky strategy that I probably will not try. Um, I'm not really good at it, but I can try and show you how it works, even though it won't work. Uh, because I'm gonna take the picture first. <laughs> I am not trying to have to go through this all over again. So this is Xerneas. Xerneas? Xerneas? Yes. Uh, yeah, Xerneas from um, Pokemon X. <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to be following him around the way that we did with Mew in the old Pokemon Snap in a little bubble and we have to break the bubble with the, the orbs. And we're going to be zooming through it as well. So I oh. try to get it always as soon as possible because it's just very stressful to not get it as soon as possible. So the fun fact is that in Pokemon X it's the same thing the Pokemon's a tree because Team Rocket's trying to steal its power oh. from its nearest. I got it. That. Yay. Oh, that was really good. Yeah, it was. Gosh. And, uh, Jesus Christ. Like, I, I didn't guess at first, to be honest. And I was like, oh, there's something about the Team Rocket story. I should have paid attention. But yeah, Team Rock tried to steal the powers of Xenias and pronounce Xenias has a lot of power and then put it in the roots of the tree. So that's why the Illuminum Pokemon is so hella big. Because they absorb the power of the of the plants. That was actually given by Xenias. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, it's it the strategy is called Zergian Skip. And basically what you do is you see Xerneas goes down into one of those holes and what you're gonna do is you're going to try and throw I believe it's fluff fruit to one of the holes or like multiple of the holes and see where it is it's normally this hole well the commentary is funny hate to burst the bubbles in news but we got a speed run to finish because it's literally inside a bubble, you know. It does look like me that's inside a bubble. There you go. So normally you would do that and you would take the picture oh, right there. But that's at the end, right? So like if you're zooming through it uh, and you try to get it and you don't get it, you have to go through all of it again. Oh, OK. So it is not for the faint of heart. And I am very faint. I am very sleepy. So we will not try it. <laughs> but there's people that can do it very well. Um, there's people that can try it if you get into the speed run. Um, have fun with it. Try it out. I think I got it once. <laughs> and the whole oh, entire wow. time that I've sped run this game. Yeah. Oh, wow. And I mean, I can get it now, but it's like. I get it. I think it has to do also with like feeling confident of like you're gonna get it. And you're feeling a little bit more calm once you already know you have the picture. But the pressure of knowing that you don't have the picture and that you have to get it kind of messes up your opportunity, <laughs> I think. Uh... It's just all in the mental. Um, but yes, you would have to go through all of this again if you miss it. Oh, okay. That's fair. And you don't want to have that huge time loss. That's a huge time loss. It is pretty huge. Uh, but you would indeed, be missing all of this. So you would cut through all of this. It's funny because if you miss the picture, you need to redo the stage. No, actually, if you press retry, if you don't finish the stage and then enter again and you press retry, you watch the cutscene all over, all again, over again at again. the beginning. <laughs> the tree was like absorbing the flowers and everything. You're like, oh my god, <laughs> I should have let it finish. <laughs> it's so sick. All right, so now we're in the last stretch and we're just going to be matching. When I cut the head. I'm sorry, Xerneas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the most beautiful spring is the horn to be cut it out. <laughs> uh, that's funny. 
<laughs> Sorry, Xerneas, I cut in your head today. I don't know how you feel about that, but... Uh, yeah, no time to think about it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're gonna keep pushing buttons. And by buttons, I mean the A button. Let's just keep going. That one button that works for everything. Because then here they're explaining what they found out when they found out that Xerneas was the the main Illumina Pokemon. I killed Xerneas, no. <laughs> Sorry. Um, well, I mean and they're explaining what they found out and what uh, why Xerneas has been um, protected and asleep and time. <laughs> Sleep nice. in time. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and time. Uh, well, yeah. and they just explained that. There we go. They talk I about Mario's that. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, um, thank you for showcasing the new Pokemon Snap. Um, I was going to say, um, for anyone who's interested in like your content, for both of you, um, I know that we found out that Candy does emotes, but also, is there um, like a channel that everyone could go and follow for you to watch streams? Um, I know right now, um, you know, potential things with the streams, but just saying to follow you or um, even just any shout outs to the community or anything like that for both of you. Yes, um, well, um, if you wanted to go first, Candy. No, you can go first. I'm yeah. just thinking. <laughs> so I do stream. I am a variety streamer. Sometimes I will speed run and maybe I'll get into new speed runs. I haven't streamed for a while, but I'm getting back to it soon. So if you wanted to follow me at, at twitch.tv slash spicy buttons, three sets. Um, that's where I am, and if you want to follow me in any other socials, you can find them there as well. Um, and yeah, if you want to see my photography, uh, you can also find it over there. So anything that you want to, if you want to talk to me about this speedrun or other people that are in the community, you can just get in the Discord. Um, you can ask me or Gunlap or Candy or Quo around. They can show you the Discord very welcoming community and very fun games to speed run so yeah you can do that candy um i used to stream on twitch i used to stream a lot of uh, speed run games uh but if you want to follow me on twitch and then we can hang out <laughs> together because i always try new things or oh, follow me on twitter because i'm always posting about art or some random stuff um, uh, feel free. We can talk about Pokemon. If I also want to hear a random... Fun fact, I'm also available for that. Because I have a lot of them. <laughs> thank you for watching and thank you for inviting me to do commentary. Yeah, thank you for, for letting me be here. Well, thank you to you both. I appreciate you both. It was such a... I learned a lot and I appreciate you showing this game because um, honestly, like it was something that I like, I do love, but I just never even saw the speed run, speed run, speed run. But um, yeah, I, I appreciate you showing it. Um, well, just a few things before we head on out, just a few reminders. Um, we do have a YouTube channel. So if you are interested in seeing this episode on our YouTube channel, it will be under the She is Speed. But if you are going to be watching it, you could be sure to press that like button on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. And if you always want to check out for more content with Games Done Quick on the Twitch channel and you're interested in seeing more live content, we are always having our hot fox hot fox hot fix shows <laughs> starting <laughs> weeknights at 7 p.m eastern and weekends at 1 p.m eastern so uh if you're interested in seeing all those we have plenty of those but also definitely check out the vod for the youtube in case you missed this but uh just want to say thank you to you all have a wonderful time and thank you for having me on she is speed i had a wonderful time thank you lana and um i want to say thank you gdq and everyone who worked behind the scenes and 
Commentary was solid, and honestly, I had so much fun with both of you. Runner solid, commentary solid, everyone's great. Alrighty, everybody, you all have a wonderful day, evening, or morning, wherever you are, and have a good one. We'll be back more tomorrow with Game Master, so tune in. And that will start at 7 p.m. Eastern for anyone who wants to see. It will be followed by Time Capsule.